popping, people? Welcome back to Say Less with Kaz <laughs> and Low Key. My name is Kaz. Yo, what up? This is Low Key from Jersey. Howard University graduate, host of Hip Hop Army Throwback on Apple Music Hits every day, 8 to 10 p.m. Listen yeah. to past episodes on demand in Apple Music whenever you get a chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very All simple, that. very simple. All that. And today's episode is brought to you by Get Out to vote. Yeah. You do not have to wait until November 3rd. Nope. To cast your ballot. Right. Obviously, it's October. So you could be an October voter. And if you don't know, I don't need to tell you, voting is extremely, extremely important. In most states, you can vote early in October. Uh -huh. Request your mail ballot, return your completed ballot in the mail or in person. Yeah. Or vote early at an early voting location. There is no time to waste. No time. Right. Treat every day like election day to make sure all voices are heard. Make a plan to vote. Yeah. To be an October voter. Yeah. Visit andstillourvote.org to join the fight for voting rights today. Pay for by the Leadership Conference Education Fund. Get out to vote. If y'all don't understand how important these times, yeah. these elections, yeah. these situations that we're going through. If yeah. you're living under a fucking rock, please remove that boulder. Right. Read the news, read the papers, read the guidelines, yes. read, you know, the city votes. Yes. Your town. Your district, it's not just about the presidential. Not just about the presidential, it's no. It's about the lower tier to the higher tier. And if y'all motherfuckers don't understand that by now, <laughs> given the current circumstances, yeah, y'all a bunch of fucking idiots. And still I vote.org. So there we go, baby. Make sure you get out there, register. And if you can vote right now, vote right now. Please do. Thousands of people have already voted. Yes. Thousands of people. You can be one of them. So don't wait till November 3rd. Don't let them hit you with the okie doke. Yeah. Don't try and go to a, a a a polling location and the lines are too long. Yeah. And, you know, people's voting ballots get messed up and all that type of stuff. Voter suppression is out, real. Absolutely. Get it out the way right now so you could stay home like me and watch the craziness on TV yeah. like everybody else. I will make sure I get Because your ass is also lined up on them sneaker apps when them Jordans be dropping. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. So, right, so make right, sure your ass right. is in. No, no, no. Don't give him, don't I'm going to lean in. Don't give him the old black man. I'm, I'm going to lean in. I'm going <laughs> to lean in. up for, to buy some sneakers. He can you line got up the, for the, the Tesla bags. Come on. And you got the, the Air Jordan you said one. Tesla bags? Whatever the fuck them shit's on. Telfair bag. Telfair, Telfair bag. <laughs> that's how you know I'm not in the fashion. You said like Tesla bag. That. <laughs> that's how you know I ain't got my girl a bag yet because I don't know what the fuck them shits are called. Oh, and I know she God. want one too. Yeah, but obviously, if anybody, uh, of always, as always, make sure. You are checked in, subscribed, yeah. rating, and commenting on the Say Less with Cas and Low Key podcast with us on iTunes, Apple, yeah. Spotify, yeah. Google, Amazon, SoundCloud, Podbean, uh, wherever you get your podcast, yeah. make sure you do it. But is there a reason why we got our mask on today? I mean, I know if you're watching this and you're, you're, you're hearing us a little muffled. A little muffles. You should be watching on YouTube.com slash Kazim because yeah. obviously- Obviously. How do we end every episode? Let's fast forward to the end of the episode. Like we so always do it this time, every day. <laughs> every day, like we do it this time. Stay free, stay safe, and always say less. And low key. And wear your fucking mask. Wear your fucking mask. God so now it. we're here in a position because uh -huh. some news has transpired over the last maybe yeah, what, some 72 news. hours. Some news. Yeah. It was, it's, been a, it's been a newsworthy week. It has. I it must has. say, it's been a newsworthy week. I and feel like the day, so we recorded last time Wednesday, right? Wednesday, yes. Game yeah. winning the NBA Finals the day after yeah. the first presidential election. Yeah. We figured, you know what? Let's keep it light. Let's have some friends over. Yeah. Let's do some. Let's get our rapper buddies. Got shout out to Rick and shout out to Smoke Dizzle. Shout out to Smoke. Fox, Fox shout out to Wit. Wit come yeah. through. It's like, you know what? Let's keep it light. It was a heavy ass day last night. Right. The commander in chief refused to condemn white supremacy when put on the spot. Whew. He said a whole bunch of wild things that, you know. Same shit he always says yeah. on Twitter. We just got to see it live yeah, on TV yeah, yeah. So during a like, presidential debate. So we're just like, you know what? Let's just keep it light this episode. Let's let's do what we do and bring smiles to people's faces, let people feel good. And all yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. No, nah, I mean, Lakers won all that in game one, all that type of it stuff. It was cool. It was fun. Woo! And then, 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 then the next day. <laughs> then the next day, we were like, whoa. whoa. 
Whoa, that escalated quickly. That came out of nowhere. My goodness. So, and it's it's just so it, you know it's what? funny to me. It's 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 ironic. Ironic's a good word. Funny, we, we're gonna kind of like leave. Traffic off jams of, when you're already late. <laughs> ironic that a couple you win the lottery, hours, <laughs> and then you die the next day. Bro, a couple hours before. A couple hours. President Trump was mocking Joe Biden yeah. for actually taking safety precautions and wearing a fucking mask. This guy always wears a huge mask. He, he wears, wears the biggest mask. Biggest mask, biggest biggest mask I've ever seen. seen. <laughs> Meanwhile, his family at the debate not uh, wearing a mask. Uh, he totes the mask as it's, if a, it's like it's a prop. He's yeah. like, I got my shit on me, but it's, yeah. I ain't wearing it. He pulled it. it out like it was a handkerchief. Like, yeah. Like, I wear this shit all the time. So yeah. now here we are, mm -hmm. uh, October 4th. Yes. In... Mr. 45 yeah. has come down. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All right, all right. Let's, let's. I'm not mocking. I'm, no, just, here, I'm, here's, I'm giving you the news. Here's where, here's where it gets. <laughs> I'm just giving y'all what y'all know already. That's here's all. Where it I gets a little nobody. muffled. Here's where it gets a little muffled, okay? It's just ironic. Now, Very we ironic. are people that like to make jokes. Yeah, of course. Especially Keep it light. About, I think we have our, our guest on the on the Zoom right here. Already? I, put, I think so. He's ten minutes early. Oh, I think so. But we'll, let's see. Let's let's let's, let's keep, throw him in there and keep we'll going. See. Keep going. Um, we're a, a show that likes to make jokes a lot. You yes. know what I mean? And a lot of times it is. Uh, what's up? Yeah, bring him in. Bring yeah. him in. And a lot of times it's at the expense of our commander in chief. You know, and which makes it very easy for us to do. Makes it very easy to do. Makes it extremely easy to do. Um. So now we're at a point where we're just like, <sighs> a lot of people are taking the high road, right? A lot of people are like going, well, you know, you can't like say anything about it because if something happens or whatever, but then, you know, not to hit you with the when they go low, we go high type of things, but like this is the same guy who's made fun of disabled people, made uh -huh. fun of people with influenza, uh -huh. made fun of people who were uh, war veterans uh -huh. made fun of lots and lots of people. All I'm going to say is this. Sleep in the bed that you made. I guess. <laughs> February, January, even December, you were on tape. Yeah, yeah. Recorded on tape saying that you were going to downplay this because you didn't want the world to panic. Yeah. And now here you are. Yeah, uh, he's in Walter Reed. Walter Reed Walter a Military Reed. Hospital. Walter Walter Reed Military Hospital. Yeah, that's where they put, you know. And Walter. now he's coughing. Yeah. He's weak. Yeah. Because allegedly as, he's on he, he was on the ventilator also. All allegedly. you had to do was be a leader of the free world and tell people to take precaution of a disease that you knew how detrimental it was to our society. Right. And now here we are, the weekend of October 4th, mm. you were in the hospital looking pale as God knows what <laughs> because you did not take your own disease serious. You did not take your own information yeah. serious. And you're surrounded by world-class physicians, yeah. doctors, all these medical experts Yo, have been telling you. It's not even his it's, it's not even I'm like I'm just like you had the cheat code right in front of you. It's not even a cheat code. No, it's very they, they, simple, simple science. You know what I mean? Like it's like, hey, this is possibly an airborne disease, like transported by droplets or whatever. And according to literally every other country who has had some competent leadership. They got it pretty much under control. New Zealand for one. New Zealand, Canada. Got it right. Shoot. Everywhere else, we're the worst by far. We are number Got one. Got it right. America's con uh, uh, obsessed about being number one. We were number one with a bullet when it came to spreading. How many deaths? 200, 200, Close to 200,000 people dead. 200,000 people dead. Close and, to you're, people. And, and he uses that as like a victory mark. Yeah. It's like, bro. And that's only because there were like projected like millions to die. It's like, oh, only 200,000 people die. What you, it ain't that. It's, it's, it's like that's we're not you can't use that as leverage like oh well only 800 people 800,000 people didn't do you remember when when this thing first popped off and like when when people really started taking it seriously it was like when Italy got hit remember when Italy got hit they got they got and they everybody got was trampled. like oh my god this is crazy oh my god it's looking so bad we gotta got trampled take care we got like 50 times more deaths than they do and 
it's the politicization, pol- politicization, politicalization. I, I see what you're saying. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. They turned something that they turned science and health into a political matter. It turned people who wore masks into people who didn't trust the president. And people who didn't wear masks into like, this is my country's freedom. Mm-hmm, now mm-hmm. listen, this is you are right. You have freedom to live or die if you please. This yes. is totally. But my thing is, this is the disease that doesn't. It's not about protecting myself. It's not me that needs a protection when I wear a mask. If God forbid I get this disease, or if I had this disease, I'm more than likely will be okay. It's others. It's people. It's people like. You, Donald Trump, you're an older, not 74, not in great shape. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know the last time his man did a crunch or a jumping jack or something. I don't think he's that fit, you know, like he doesn't look fit, he doesn't look comfortable. He looks when, he, very, when you see him on White House briefings, when you see him giving speeches <sighs> out, he does not look comfortable, yeah, he doesn't look healthy, he doesn't look like he's in a good physical state. Yeah, this isn't it's not me wishing any bad health on him, but it's like, bro. Now you didn't caught now now it didn't caught up to you. I don't wish death on nobody. I'm not wishing death, but it caught up to you now. I don't bro. wish death on nobody. I want to make that clear before we continue, because they I they know we not. Fuck I can that. see how this could look. <laughs> I can see how this could look. But it's like you mocked you mocked it. Yeah. Like you mocked it. It's like it we're not. It's like bro, this is not funny. Yeah. It's just ironic. How you said back in March and April yeah. that one it's gonna disappear like a miracle, yeah. and here we are October fourth, and you laid up in Walter Reed yeah. with shit attached to your lungs and all this other shit, and now you now the country is you know you know singing slow songs and lighting <laughs> candles and like now oh saw, my god now, now it's serious prayers, right I now get the fuck out of here it shouldn't bro. have to come to to get you catching this for you to finally take the serious stop calling it the it's China only virus. serious when it happens to you and your family yeah. now your wife that you don't give a fuck about done <laughs> caught the shit to now, be fair, I don't think she gives a fuck about him either. No, nah, yeah, yeah. That's another conversation. <laughs> and now a lot of people in your administration done caught it. Mm. People that work with you, people that don't, they can't afford the luxury to work at home that yeah. work for you, they caught it. Yeah. And now, like, now we're, it's the sympathy card. And technically, I think this is a, a nice little Ponzi scheme <laughs> at the White House. How's it a Ponzi scheme? Bro, like, now all of a sudden, all these Republicans and all these White House administrators <laughs> This this sort of conspiracy theory. Let's throw hats and four hats and four hats and four hats. Well, I'm just like now. Mm. What we're a month out from the election. Mm. Now you want remorse. Mm. Now you want people to be like, oh my god, he beat it. Oh mm. my god, he's the president of the United States has took on this disease and just did it. It's like nah, bro. Tim fall hat, bro. Tim fall hat. Tim fall hat. Mm-mm. I'm waiting for that other shooter drop, man. What's the other shooter drop? The other shooter drop. They take him. They all they were saying he was taking experimental drugs. To treat this right give it t minus 30 days until some miracle vaccine pops up right before the election i get 15 less than that middle, less than the that. middle the middle or well, towards the end of this yeah around like the end of it like less the last week that. of this month he's gonna pull up at the last debate healthy as a clam and be like hey look i beat it i beat it and i cured it and i found and, and we found the cure for it Vote uh, for me again. I don't get it. I don't it, trust man. anything around election time. Bro. I don't get it. I don't it's trust the, the anything. The timing of this is time. so peculiar. It's yeah, so and it's every, Repo- every, every Republican. Every Republican. Everybody. And granted, okay, I understand. They're, they're, they're trying to say like the super spreader event took place at a ceremony where they were naming the new Supreme Court justice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to yeah. replace uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yeah. Um, and hey. It does like, sound pretty. And there's weird. so many. <laughs> you know, if you're watching, like, if you're watching, like, the media, if you're watching, like, these panels, yeah, it's so many things that are left out in regards to when he contracted it, yeah, when the symptoms kick in, yeah, what are they supposed to look like, how detrimental they are to his health. So it's like the timeline is just so off, and it's just like, how dumb do you think we are? <laughs> like, how, how, how much are we gonna bite on this when the, the election is literally? 30 days away. Yeah. And now you got this huge ass sympathy card yeah. that you're laying thick. Now you don't want on you don't America. Want, you want, you, the people are saying, well, Joe Biden should 
stop campaigning yep. or we should push back the election. Yep. We should do all this. You know what I say to all that? Sweep the leg. <laughs> <laughs> Sweep the leg. I, Sweep I, the I, leg. I, I'm just all I, I know, am. Man. You know me, Lo. I know. I am the captain of keep that same energy. This Keep that same. Again, I do not wish as much as awful, as disgusting, as terrible as this person has been and has acted. I don't care. I'm not even talking about political, you know, uh, uh, narrative or, or narratives or, or strategy. I'm not talking about none of his politics at all. I'm just talking about him just as a dude. I'm a regular dude, man. Like my politic knowledge is very surface level. It's like what affects me, what affects my family. And how much is this going to affect my taxes when I get my paycheck? That's literally it. When I get into deeper stuff, I'm like, all right, you know, state senates and, you know, local governments, all that. I'll do that on my own. Not even thinking about politically. I'm just talking about, yo, just as a common, decent dude, you have said, done, and acted like such a dick (laughs) for the past four years. And again... I don't wish any harm upon you. And the worst part about this is I don't think this will change him either. I don't think not. this will. And, uh, this happens to most people when you get humbled by something like this. You, I, I got to reevaluate some shit. You, yeah, like when, you, when, you're, when you're facing your mortality and you're seeing like, damn, like I really got this life-threatening disease that, you know. I Like the clock is ticking. I might have exacerbated and I probably could have gotten control if I had to. Yeah. But I got this now. It doesn't matter who you are. When I get the flu. When I get up, when I get the uh, your yeah, life uh, flashes before your eyes, I, it's I, like, damn, like I shouldn't have done that person wrong. When like, I'm hung over. Should have seen <laughs> like when I'm when I drank too much and I'm sitting in bed, I'm st- even then I'm sitting here like, damn, man, I gotta start making some different life Bro, it's like, yo, I gotta change things I, I gotta up change a little my, bit. <laughs> like, but it's like, yo, I'm like, the, damn, yo. tequila and crown? Like, what was like, I? What thinking, like, what, like, what were you like, what were you, where was your mind what at? Where was my last mind night? at, yo? But bro, like a like, normal human being that Common breathes decency. air and flows blood in their in their veins they re- reevaluate shit when they get sick yeah. the worst part about this is that he's going to kick this disease and he's going to come back worse if he has it if he has it if, yeah, he, yeah, has if it. he has it but it's like the teflon the teflon behavior is going to come back in full force mm. but like he said in that interview on um i think it was Eric's or whatever HM, yeah. What did he say? And this is, again, like Cass keeps saying, this is not me wishing death or ill on anybody. Yeah. But I will say this, and I'm going to leave yeah. it here. Yeah. I'm going to leave it yeah. here. We can move on to something else. It is what it is. <laughs> I'll leave it right there. I just want to mention that in the past 20 or 30 minutes, we haven't talked at all or maybe touched upon the uh, debate. So do you think that was part of the mentality where he did so well? that was uh, the, the, the big plan? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not sure if it was like the main surprised. objective, but like. As bad that as that debate boy, went, as bad as that uh, debate went, and the things that he couldn't muster up to acknowledge or the things he couldn't muster up to say, yeah. um, this situation with him uh, attracting the coronavirus has taken all eyes and all focus off that debate. Yeah. And not to say Biden did any better. Not even about the debate, too. Well, no, that that let's just think that about, was a shit show. Let's just to think begin about with. that whole week. Let's just think about that whole week. Taxes came out. Yeah, seven hundred and fifty. Debate, thunk it up. Yeah, called up the Proud Boys. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. white supremacists. They didn't condemn white supremacy. He had a pretty bad week. <laughs> the bullet points and the outlining of chalk were not in his favor. They were not yeah. in his favor. So this miraculous move by the White House or whatever you want to call it has taken all eyes off of the shit that he did those prior two or three, four days and now has placed his big ass sympathy blanket over him. Mm-hmm. I don't think uh, here's a lot thing. of people do. A lot of people. A I don't lot think you know what it do. is. A lot here's, of the, here's the funny thing. But look at Fox. I, before, we, before we started, I was looking you at Fox, Fox News. You watch Fox News? 
I, just to give both sides, <laughs> just to understand what they're thinking, what they're saying. I, I'm I'm the same way. I feel like I got I gotta I gotta see how you uh, how other people think. And Lauren, I think it was Lauren Ingram or whatever her yeah. name is, like the blonde chick on on Fox News. Mm-hmm. She was giving this like this speech about pouring about how you know President Trump, we're gonna support you, and you've taken care of us, and you've done so many things in the last five years, and we're not gonna let America tear you down while <laughs> you're sick. And it's like for the last six months. Y'all have been downplaying this disease. Now yep. the leader in Cheeto got it. <laughs> and now it's, we got your back. We're going to take care of you. Hey, kiss my ass. Listen. It is what it is. One thing that's kind of funny is that he has been isolated, so he hasn't been able to spray tan. <laughs> and he looks pale as shit. I'm like, you he see the two-tone, right? You see the two-tone in his... Uh... <laughs> he looks pale as hell. Listen, I, I, don't, I don't want nobody to die. I, I really don't. All I'm saying, I, I got to keep saying it because know, it's yeah, like, some people will take the word because yeah, we're all yeah. like, listen, like everybody's kind of tiptoeing around it and, and walking on eggshells and like, yeah, yeah, you got to yeah. say the right thing and you don't got to, you know what I mean? Be, be mean or don't want to be mean or say something, yeah. you know, because if something does happen, which could possibly happen, could happen. If something does happen. You never want that. Karma. To be on your conscience. Either. We all believe in karma. We all believe yeah, in yeah, good yeah, conscience. Yeah. We all believe in all this type of stuff. So the last thing any of us would want is to have that blood on our hands. You know what I mean? President Trump, if you're watching this, and Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and all the pundits. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if we're well, getting... hold on. <laughs> if you're watching this, I would like to send a word of advice that has worked for me when I was a young black child growing up in New Jersey and I got sick and I got the flu, got the measles, the bumps, mm. chicken pox, all that other nonsense mm. that I fought through. I would suggest you do this and this has worked and Cash can attest to this as well. Put some Robitussin in there. <laughs> and you will feel better in the morning. Listen. If this is as serious as you claim it is, Trump, throw some Robitussin on it. Mm. Chris, Chris, uh, Chris Rock gave me that beautiful advice yeah, during his stand up. What happens when you run out of it? Put some water in it, shake it up. Take it up. Mo Tussin, bro. Mo Tussin. <laughs> You'll be fine, bro. Mo Tussin, bro. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, really, honestly. I mean, for the sake of the country, I, I don't wish death upon him. No, not at all. But I do. Uh, is he ready? Is our guest, is our guest on? Is he there? All right, we'll, we'll wait until he's on. Okay. Oh, he's ready. Okay. But and then you, you take care of that until you, we got a great guest today, so I, I don't want to I don't want to hold him up either. But we'll we'll keep going until until I guess is I'm ready. Just, I'm off it, bro. I'm sorry, I'm off it. Like I'm cool. I just I just don't want to spend so much time on it. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, dog. Like, and 2020 has been such a year where like. <laughs> So many people that we didn't want to die, like have bit the bullet. Bit the bullet. Oh man, Steve Barnes, injury attorneys. Wait, who uh, was the Kenzo? The Kenzo. Um, the Kenzo. Rest in peace, New York legend, bro. Uh, Rest in peace, Bob Gibson. I I, I gotta look. Mel Gibson. Bob Gibson. Oh God. No, I mean Mel Gibson. Bob Gibson, Hall of Fame pitcher, of course. I'm just I'm just over it, bro. I'm sorry. Like this 2020 has taken me to a point where I just don't feel as much remorse as I would maybe back in. It's not even remorse. It's like yo, you know how everybody keeps saying like, well. I didn't have that on my bingo card. I, I, <laughs> this I kind of saw coming. <laughs> I, I'm not this gonna, I kind of saw gonna coming. You. I didn't see this coming. This I absolutely saw I coming. I didn't see this coming. I absolutely saw it coming. It's I didn't like, see this coming. He did. He took literally no safety precautions. He told people to drink bleach, <laughs> and it'll get like <laughs> it'll go away. Was this him like being safe? Like was this him? Like he wasn't taking nearly the precautions. Like, yo, we take more precautions at this show than they took. Clear, like, when we walk in, masks, we got masks, and all thermometers, that. fucking hand sanitizers, Eden's masked up. This is the first time we're masked up during the show because we're trying to prove a point. You know what I mean? We'll take it off soon. But it's. Is this, is this the epitome of white privilege? It's not white. Like, I don't know if it's white privilege. No, all right, let me, I'm a, let me, let me, let me try to, no, let yeah. me try to, let me try to, let me try to just break this. Because the same messaging that Trump has been giving us for the last three or four months is the same messaging as his supporters. So 
when you look at, you know, some of these guys or some of the Karens or whatever the case is, they're in Trader Joe's or they're in Chipotle or they're at a restaurant or whatever the case is. No one wants to adhere to the levels of safety. No one wants to wear a mask. Everyone thinks they're above the mask. Everyone makes up these questionable, uh, you know, medical issues. Like, I can't wear a mask because I have X, Y, and Z. And it's like... You look at these cases that, that are happening, people are dying or people are catching corona, and it's a simple safety precaution that they could have done. And when you look at white privilege, that reeks of it. Now, if I'm bugging, y'all can hit me on low-key UHTN on Twitter <laughs> and let me know if I'm bugging, but the simple things that certain inv individuals could have done could have saved you from yeah. this certain situation, yeah. the president included. And I'm just, just doing the context clues over here. He doesn't seem like he has like the mild case of the. Of the it seems like it's a little serious. You know, I don't think he got. I don't think he got that. that like he lost a taste. He lost a sense of taste or something. He don't smell. got the Donovan Mitchell Rona or the, oh, or the Rudy bro. Gobert <laughs> Rona. He's got something that's going on in his health, mm. and he was around people that were exposed to it. And then in addition, him exposing other people to it, knowing he had it. Yeah, yeah. Knowing he had it. That's why I say the privilege comes into play because it's like, well. I'm part of the, you know, the, the 5% or 1% or whatever. I can do whatever I want. Yeah. I can say whatever I want. And here you are mocking your presidential opponent for wearing a mask. That gives me, that, that smells like white privilege to me. And if y'all want to, you know, attack, go ahead and attack. I think but, there's a difference between white privilege and white supremacy. Yeah. If that makes I mean, sense. I mean, he, that, that, know, he don't know the difference. <laughs> he don't, yeah, he don't know the difference. We know the difference. He know the difference. That, yo, that, his, his behavior has exuded white privilege. God, I mean, obviously for some time now, but this particular instance reeks of it to me. And if I'm wrong, cool. But all you had to do was wear a mask. All you had to do was social distance. Yeah. And all he's been doing is having rallies with 30 to 35,000 people. I mean, come on, son. Look at Herman Cain. Don't put that on white people. Look at Herman Cain. Who put it on? Look at Herman Cain. That behavior exudes white privilege is what I'm saying. I ha I ha I'm not... I, listen, this is not an attack on white people, but it's an attack on white privilege. All of that is white privilege. I'm sorry. You can't, you can't tell me wrong, Jake. No, I'm not saying it's not white privilege. I'm just saying it's probably more, in my view, white supremacy on like a Yeah, I mean, you got to think about it like level. this. It was, I, I, I feel you on that, Jake. Like, cause, cause when it first kicked off, it was the worst, scariest thing. Everybody chill out. Oh my gosh, everything shut down. We're shutting everything down. Then it started killing like black people like disproportionately. Right. Then it's just sort of like, oh, it's just a next black court. And I still think there was a small part of Trump who was like, mm, all these people got it and lived. If I get it, I got the best medicals in the world. Like yeah. I'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it backfired. I think it, like his, his 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 privilege, his mindset backfired on him. And a lot of people who have tweeted a lot of stuff mm -hmm. have you know had family members. Yeah. Get caught with the COVID. Yeah, some of them have have taken a plunge. Yeah, so it's like a lot of these things are a t an attestment to white privilege. I'm that's just how I look at it. I don't, I don't know how y'all want to look at it, but that's Made how Democrats I look at it. believe in God. Republicans believe in science. Yeah, clearly they don't. They don't, man. But I mean, nah, let's take these fucking masks off. Bro. We, gotta, we, yeah, we, we, we've been we safe. We've been uh, safe, we, bro. Have we? Have we? Have we? Uh, we, 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 we drove home the point. <laughs> All right. Point is proven, but please, wear your fucking mask. Wear your fucking mask, Don't be bro. like the orange motherfucker in the hospital right now. I hope he's all right, maybe, but I can't it don't wait. matter because we got a special guest today. Can't wait to see the races in our comments this week. <laughs> can't wait. I'm ready Bring to debate. On. I'm ready. What's up? What's up? What's up? We good? We, oh, tell. Uh, we got a guest uh, via Zoom. Uh, if you could just turn the camera sideways, turn it sideways turn so we get the we day. We, yeah, there yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, our guest today. Talk to him. Has the hottest record out right now, mm. whether it's TikTok, whether it's, well, I mean, we ain't in the clubs in New York, but if you're in Atlanta or wherever the hell, yeah. like <laughs> they party into it right now. Whole lot of choppers. We got Sada Baby coming through through Say Less. What's going on, baby? What's happening? Oh, man, I'm living, bro. I'm living. Where, where, where are you right now, man? You look like you're living real good. Where you at right now? Detroit. I'm at the Korea. Okay, 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 okay. Shout out to D, man. Yo, always got mad love for Detroit. One of my favorite cities on the planet, man. Sada, let me let me just come out and ask you real quick, man. Let me just, let me just, let's get to it. 
Did you have an intention for this record to be a viral sensation? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you already knew where I was going with that. <laughs> you knew how important the viral portion of the success for this record was important. Hey, the song two years old. Wow. All right, so tell me about the 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 the, the making of the song. Uh Edna, is this recording on the song? All right. So Sada, tell me about the making of this record. You said it's two years old. You know what I mean? Were you sitting on it for a while? Did it just like was it one of the magic of viral media and it just kind of took off? Tell me tell me the making of the record. Like what what, what, what was the day I, like? I just had the beat. When I got the beat, I feel like the only reason he sent me the beat is because he knew what I would do to it. Like he felt like I I would like I would actually travel with the song instead of just like trying to rap fast because it was like a faster beat. And I knew that he knew that I knew what the sample was. So like, like, you know, whoop is a blood thing and motherfuckers, you know say the blood say whoop. But yeah. I also whoop is like how me and my homeboys communicate. Like everything is a whoop. Like nigga be like, pass me that whoop. I want extra cheese on that whoop. You feel me? Whoop. Like everything <laughs> is a whoop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the producer, he only made the beat because we were saying whoop so much and he wanted me to do whoop. There it is. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but how I, how I heard it was uh, too much booty in the pants. Yeah. yeah. That's, 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 all like, I that, that's how I heard it. <laughs> so I just went, I just went about it like that. Like I, I probably, before I did the song, I probably had to beat for like a, a week or two. Uh, and I knew I had a trip coming up to Atlanta. I like to record in Atlanta a lot. So I just saved it for, um, for when I went to Atlanta to do my little work week. And it was, it's, it is. And, and, and to this day is the only song that's on my album. Like I haven't, I've never dropped the album. Mm. I'm working on my debut album and hold on the chop is just the only for sure song that's going to be on the album. How, how, how close are you done with, with the album? Like where, where's the, the percentage? Oh, you're not, no, <laughs> you're not nowhere. All right. So here's, here's my thing. Right? Near. Here's my thing. Right. I saw, and, and this is, this is no disrespect. This is, this is actually praise. Cause we're in a different, we're in a different era of music making right now. Right. I remember Lil Nas X says something like this a year ago when he was like, well, I guess, you know what I mean? Like I'll, I'll, I'll never need to put out another album because like I got this record that's so monstrous. You know what I mean? Like why, right. like why waste the time? Like why waste the energy when like this record is taking me everywhere? Whole lot of choppers, man. Like I've heard this song in cars, clubs, kids TikTok, adult TikToks, gang members TikToks, everybody. Like right. you've you've managed you've managed to like permeate through all walks of life with this record. That is not a friendly record. It is about right. it is about guns and and shooting people. It is. <laughs> I've seen like the it JFK is. videos. I've seen the, the spoofs. Like, do you have like a favorite whole lot of choppers TikTok that 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 caught you? And you're like, oh man, that's hilarious. Um, I think my favorite, just because I fuck with sports a lot, was Juju. Yes. Mm. So like, so like Juju doing the TikTok and then him doing the dance when he scored a touchdown, like on Monday Night Football. Yes. That probably was like that was like the dopest, but probably like the biggest was like Heidi Klum and Howie Mandel. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't even understand how I get to their ear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For them to be doing my dance on TikTok, but do they reach? Yeah, like, right, so like, so when when those things happen, like do like does Juju reach out to you? Does Heidi reach out to you? Does How Howie Mandel reach out to you? Or they just they now, just you play? Know, you know, you know, with tip, with TikTok. Um, with TikTok, it's one of those things to where uh, whoever the person is responsible for the song, they're kind of like the furthest away from, you know what I'm saying, like like being actually in touch with them. Because yeah. like the, the people who doing the dance, they don't have kind of know like it's my song. Right. You know what I mean? Like my face is not with the song. It's just the, just the, it's just the, the song. song the record. Dance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like when I see it, when I see it, it's just like I see it. Like my label might send it to me, like hey, such and such did your dance today, or such and such did woo woo. Like I'm not on TikTok, like watching the feed and seeing, you okay. know what I'm saying? And, and then like damn, getting like first personal reactions. Like a lot of shit, I be saying it and no bullshit, I be high. Like I be on. <laughs> you feel me? So a lot of shit, I be like, like damn, that's what's up. You feel me? <laughs> Versus to when I wake up the next day when I'm sober, like nigga, fucking Howie Mandel was on your shit. You feel me? But like once the weed kick in, I just be like, yeah, I did it. You feel me? Like that's it, brother. So you, okay, okay, okay. So you mentioned it before, and you said you know Juju 
doing the dance on Monday Night Football was 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 big for you because you're a big sports fan. Yeah, head. because the Lions not good enough to have a wide receiver do my fucking touchdown <laughs> dance. I mean, they, wait, time out. Y'all won today? I think I think y'all, y'all almost won. No, y'all didn't win. We fucking lost. We lost to 50 year old Drew Brees. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we got, we got here to set up. I see because I got I got Adrian Listen, Peterson on my fantasy Matt team. Stafford, so I'm like, all right, we look doing Stafford all right. Stafford is the only quarterback in the history of quarterbacks that could do shitty every year and keep his job. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, I fuck with I fuck with Stafford though. I fuck with Stafford though because he always put up numbers and take an L though. I fucked with Stafford his first three or four years. I'm like, all right, it's gonna get better. It's gonna uh. get better, and it never got better. Listen, the Packers let Brett Favre go. Yeah, we, we can yeah. let Matt Stafford go. <laughs> I, I just I, I feel like it's just, I feel like for me for for the Lions and for him he need to change the scenery. Mm. He need to go try it somewhere else, and we need to try it somewhere because he's not it. You know what I'm saying? How long we gonna run with the uh? uh he's 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 the only uh gunslinger left in the league. So what? what? <laughs> so what? Oh, fuck like about that. This ain't a gunslinger like league this anymore, games. man. This ain't a gunslinger league. It's it's a league of of efficiency. And like you can't be like, oh, he got four like, touchdowns, but he gave you three Nobody picks. Care about your arm strength. You make good decisions, be a winner, all that type of shit. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. That just yeah. I, 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 I find myself rooting for other football teams every year. I start off with the Lions, and then I go on and say I'm a bandwagon for them. Well, listen. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a Buccaneers fan this year. Real, man, I was just talking bro, shit about Tom Brady. Yo, listen. Before you got on the line. Shout out. Uh, listen, listen, bro. I, I, I've been a Giants fan for the last 20 years of my life. I'm a Jets and fan, sadly. I'm well, we, watching them, <laughs> we watching them right now play the fucking Rams. We 0-3. And I talk to my homeboy all the time. It's like staying in a toxic relationship. It's like, I don't know how many more years I can do this, bro. So I'm Man, looking for a new like, team like myself. With me, with me, it's not more so the Lions because, like, <coughs> I only root for the Lions because I'm from Detroit. Right. Yeah. Same. With, with my toxic relationship is the Pistons. Mm. <laughs> year after year, I watch these niggas not tank when they're supposed to tank. Uh, the steel, like, trying to keep some pride and they chance to fight for an AC playoff spot. Right. And then, you know what I'm saying, the draft come, we get a semi-good number of a picks where we supposed to grab one of the studs. We draft the Luke Kennard. Uh, <laughs> goddamn. Uh, Yo, Luke Kennard ain't like, Luke Kennard Garko, I though. Goddamn. He ain't right, though. He ain't like Kevin goddamn. Knox. No. We take bad <laughs> picks every year, and I'm tired of it, bro. Oh, my mama. Well, you know what our bad course is supposed to be? <laughs> Devin Booker and Donovan Mitchell. I, we passed on both of them. Listen, you want to talk oh, about no. passing on teams? I'm a Knicks we fan, bro. I'm a Knicks fan, bro. I'm a Knicks fan. I know all about who we could have had, should have had, would have. It's, it's, it's not as worse as that. Donovan Mitchell's from no, upstate. No, no, it's, it's, it's from, he from, the, the Knicks. He from, the he Knicks from is worse. here. <laughs> yeah, the he Knicks from worse. here. And we was like, nah, we good. We had Ron <laughs> our test right in our hands. You know what we do? We took the big motherfucker that Vince Carter jumped over instead of Ron our test. That's the type of shit Knicks fans do. That's the type of shit. I've, I've seen my I've seen my pops root for the Knicks for about twenty years, <laughs> and I I promise myself I would never let myself feel that kind of agony, pain, and defeat. <laughs> watching John Starks every year fuck it up, watching Patrick Ewing fall on his face, Charles Oakley, Charles Smith, all of them. I could not yo watching my dad go through that. I wasn't about to put myself through that toxic relationship. I'm, I'm telling y'all, for me personally. If this draft in November, if we don't do what we supposed to do with that seventh pick, I am signing me a bandwagon for him, and I'm leaving the Pistons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you are you a real you a real deal hoop I fan? Like I did draft, I did my. I feel like Cole Anthony will be available at the seventh pick, and I feel like they should pick Cole Anthony. Well, for Detroit. Listen, this is the same thing I'm going through. Cole Anthony is from – he's from Hell's Kitchen. He's from 10 minutes from this place right here. His daddy played for the Knicks. I, right. I guarantee you he's going to be right over here. We're going to pass on him. And in three, four years, he's going to be like, well, why did the Knicks take Cole Anthony? What did it? Just I've been like, trying hey, to tell y'all, like man, you got to build culture. All that shit. <laughs> Listen, let, let's, let's talk about something a little bit more positive in regards to Detroit. Uh, right. Talk to me about Detroit hip hop right now. It's, it's a lot of good folks coming out. There's a lot of folks doing their thing. Obviously, you included. But talk to me about Detroit hip hop and the synergy that that's that's being showcased in hip hop right now. I mean, um, I'm happy that uh, uh, people are looking at us like one of those uh, music meccas right now. You know what I'm saying? Like we got so much shit coming from different areas. But it's not just Detroit. It's Detroit and Flint. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's Detroit Flint. It's artists out of Flint that's bigger than artists in Detroit. You know okay. what I'm saying? Not per se me, but it's just artists in Flint that they have a stronger run than artists in Detroit right now. So like Michigan as a whole and like our surrounding city, you feel me? Like yeah. I think it's giving every artist from here the confidence to try and go for it right now. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. a, a lot of us, like just about 90% of us didn't have a um didn't have a head start or like a turbo strip. Like I had a little bit of head start by signing the T, but he was a weird motherfucker. So that it's like it's like an asterisk about by my head start. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. But a lot of these niggas is coming from Detroit and Flint. They didn't have no type of head start and just got it all out the out the mud and just YouTube views and word of mouth and motherfuckers saying their name. Like you heard this guy, you heard this guy. Like the um uh uh be a be the Pac-Man. Like I had been a fan of Pac-Man before I did that verse for him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Ben knew who he was, all that type of shit. And then it just took for me to do a song with him for other people to go listen to him. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of talent around this bitch, and I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. And, and you, I know told, for a fact you, you, we you not said something very interesting. Mom, you said something very what interesting about not having like you know a cosign or whatever the case is. Does it does the does coming from the mud make it a lot more you know Hell yeah. enjoyable? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I feel like I'm I'm glad that I had to buy myself out of the deal so I can restart and really get my own foundation going. You understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, don't give a fuck how good you want to think you is. If you sign to two, three niggas, a nigga always going to link your success with who you were signing with. Mm, yeah, that's true. Flat out. That's very and true. And that's how it go. You know what I'm saying? Be motherfuckers hopping on songs talking about they ain't signed and ain't nothing, but a whole while, you feel me, they signed to two different artists and a label. You feel me? Like, there's nothing wrong with it if that's what's in your corner. You know what I'm saying? So like, like all this shit that's going on with like my song being placed and all them curated lists and and then uh, on Times Square and all that shit. I know for a fact that's because of asylum. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I don't. I, I can't make the call and be like, "Hey, nigga, put my shit on um on Times Square for me, nigga. I got twenty thousand for you." you <laughs> I can't do that. I can't. The label can do that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's it feel it feels a lot better when you get it out your own. And I know for a fact my label is only helping me with distribution. So like I'm still doing my leg work and, and being in the streets on my own. I'm still pulling up on niggas getting their features. I'm still right. pulling up to my shows, doing after parties, doing meet and greets, all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? It feel way better when you out there getting it. I swear to God it do because I got my first song on the Billboard charts with no feature, no right. assist, no nothing. Yeah. And that's all I keep screaming. I held this all for two years and no assist, goddammit. That's all I'm screaming. <laughs> now you talk about Flint and you talk about Michigan coming up. And again, I know you're a big hoops head. You got the Lakers playing tonight against Miami Heat, Kyle Kuzma out there from Flint. You know what I mean? Like what's what's your thoughts on the Lakers right now, especially Kuz who comes from around the world? I'm glad Kuzma dyed his hair back black. What happened? What happened? <laughs> I said, I'm glad Kuz dad is here back black. <laughs> that's, that's all I got to say. Who's out here running around I like Slim a, Shady, I am bro? A professional by blood, LeBron hater. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Well, he, that's the thing. It's it's a it's a catch twenty two for you, right? Because like, all right, Kuz from Flint, but Braun from you know, what I mean, Cleveland. Listen, and, and when, he's when, giving when, Detroit when the Blues win, a lot. When they win, but y'all get, listen, when they win, I am going to post Kyle because I know Kyle in real life. Yeah. I did his basketball camp, all type of shit. You feel me? Like, that's my homeboy. Mm. I'm going to post, I'm going to post Cruz and congratulate him. And that's it. <laughs> no, that's no, it. no, no respect. No, no bra, brain, no bra, no bra no, no, Listen, listen. <laughs> and he fucking four and 26. <laughs> respect for him. Why? He bought a team. He, he planned this shit years ago when he got fucking AD to sign the Rich Paul. I'm not, what? What are you talking about? Hey, but about? he got, but, <laughs> yo, but he still, did, he still got there. Who's being LeBron in the fucking healthy AD? But but he's still, still, y'all sound like Skip right now. He still got <laughs> there, though. I bet. So, I, but listen, I how, many, listen how many excuses really we got? I don't like it. Hold on. I'm going to tell y'all why I really don't like it. What's because up? my favorite fucking player is Carmelo Anthony. Okay. He's a part of the Banana Boat crew. And I felt like, nigga, LeBron, you got all this bull, bitch ass nigga. You would get Jared <laughs> Dudley, Danny Green, and fucking a uh, uh, Morris twin over there before you would try to get Melo signed to the Lakers. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like you, nigga. You want to be the best nigga. I don't like you. He wants to be the best nigga out of the banana boat crew instead of being the loyal nigga out of the banana boat crew. Yeah, you know, like, so so I ain't going to hold you. There was some times when Melo was sitting there working out at the, at the Brickley gym in New York. I'm, I'm like, bro, yo, like, we can't. Can Brian can make that call right now and get him over there. Clap. Like, we but seen him cook this year. Twin. Jared Dudley, Danny Green, Rondo. I bet what? <laughs> 
Yo, bro, we gotta get this nigga on undisputed first take. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga clowning nah, right now. Nah, but you now, know what? It's bro. better that he's here on say nah, less. No, I fuck with him, bro. Cause that nigga's dropping him shit. He though. can't say this shit on first take. He can say that shit. <laughs> exactly. Liz, it's, it is deep to me because so many motherfuckers around me that I love to death love LeBron. And I just be like, bro, like, how do y'all like that nigga? Like, his chest, <laughs> he don't have a chest. Well, listen, I, I, I remember I remember what he did to Detroit way back when, when he was super young, dropping that 48, 23 points straight. Yo, look at his face. That's, you know I mean? that's not why I don't like him. Okay, all right. So, but that you can't tell it. me that the whole back, thing back a little bit. Happened, back when that happened, I still was a kid. I really could give a fuck. You feel me? Like, all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not why I don't like him. As I got older, I understood the game of basketball and seen the type of player that he was. is why I don't like him. He's not tough. <laughs> he only do his shoulder roll and the mean mug to shorter niggas. Like, he don't ever go in no niggas taller than him. Well, when he's Jason bigger Tatum than all. Chest chest and dunked on his ass. Hold on. When Jason Tatum dunked on him chest to chest as a rookie <laughs> and screamed in his ear, he had nothing to say to Jason Tatum. Because he, was, cause he, he, cause he won the series. Because he hold won on. the series. Bro, this thing is really <laughs> dropping. <laughs> he won in the, the series. series he, 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 he throwing elbows and shoulder rolls to Gary Trent Jr. <laughs> Come on, listen, bro. Listen. I, bro, I respect you, bro. I get it. You I get the Jason Tatum story. He way, asked bro. to follow him back when he was super young. He was his biggest fan. He caught that dunk on. He, you, you can't tell me Jason Tatum even like believed that what he was doing as he was doing it. Like he screamed, like he was almost like trying to like stop himself, like mid scream was like, oh, <laughs> like ran back. Like, come on, man. Even Braun was like, Braun had to give it up. He's like, ah, right, he's twenty years old. Like I get it, but he still won the series. He still won. That's his. That's his. That's his comeback. That's his. Listen, no, back. all right. So, I, all right. So, I want to see. All right. I want to see. I want to hear the basketball no. mindset. Look. No. <laughs> I want to hear the. Ba- hold on, Sada. Hold on. I want to hear the basketball mindset the from you. Against every nigga. Wait, repeat that. I said. I said. I said. Your chest. Your chest has to be the same when you go to somebody had called me. Your chest has to be the same when you going against every nigga. Rasheed didn't care who you were. He yelled at you and yelled obscenities. Latrell Sprewell, Ibo, the Kobe, all of these niggas didn't care who you were. They played their game regardless. LeBron is a different nigga against different motherfuckers. I, you can't say that. I ain't telling the truth. All right, so so what's your so what's your thoughts on these finals right now, man? All right, everybody's saying <laughs> yeah, every time everybody's, everybody's right. saying that it's gonna be a, a tainted championship because everybody hurt. I haven't watched one game. <laughs> <laughs> Said he hasn't watched one game. You yo. ain't watched one game yet. I haven't watched game one or game two. I don't. I, you feel me? I might watch the one tonight by default if I leave the studio in time. I mean, it's Sunday. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing to watch. Know what I mean, I don't know. I think uh, what the the, 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 the Patriots and Patriots and Chiefs got postponed till yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, so they ain't not playing. So I mean, that's the only show in town. You're not gonna watch? Nah, I probably play 2K and then watch Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> I've been watching. I've been I've been rewatching Sons of Anarchy. Listen, now, listen, hold on. So I know. Okay, you you you've illustrated and explicitly disclaimed your hate for LeBron. All right. <laughs> Yes. I'm gonna ask you this. I'm just as a basketball fan, is he in your top five? Yes. So you could put feelings aside, personal feelings aside, and recognize. Because hey, hey, I'm, hey, hey, I'm just asking because you're a real listen. hooper. So like hey, personal, personal, know, personal, he personal is, feelings aside, he is what you can he appreciate is, the greatness. My nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you have a top five? He he's just not my homie, bro. I just don't. I'm not. A, I don't. I think his game is bulky, stiff. <laughs> I don't think I know finesse to it. Uh, I hate the, the look at the hand move. With the... <laughs> I hate that shit. I just, I, man, no. <sighs> yeah, this thing is hilarious. All right, so I need your top. I need your top five then, and I need and I need reasons. Not top five, top great. Five uh, I need. I need your. I need your. T- I need matter of fact. I need your Mount Rushmore of Hoopers right now. So and I need four. 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 Give me four. Let me see, Mike. Yeah. Kobe. Yeah. Isaiah Thomas. Ooh. Shaq. What was the Shaq. last one? Shaq. 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 You said Shaq? I, I can that's see not, that. That's not a bad time. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, Isaiah. I mean, Thomas is considered one of the greatest two point time, guards. Two-time champ. He, yeah. He said, for some reason, when people bring up Isaiah, like, people don't ever... Throwing Niggas those don't bad boy pistons, like he was like he was just easy to guard or something. Like yeah, like it. people forget. Nah, yeah, yeah like yeah. people forget, bro. Like and I nice understand he that. Was. Anytime we bring up like the Jordan, Kobe, Braun, like the Bates, like people never like remind people like yo, like the bad boy pistons 
used to give MJ the like leave it up to people who was born in the nineties and, and the and the late eighties. They just think MJ never lost a game. I, never they, they made it, the pitches made it very, very <laughs> difficult for Michael like to read. I feel like Zeke the best small guard of all the time. And the only reason he get the nudge over Ivo is because Ivo didn't get a ring. Well that's what the, I was okay. about to say like I'm like Iverson is probably like neck and neck, but if Iverson got the it's, ring no, it's like it's like if Zeke, Iverson got the ring, Iverson, he probably be in the I, mean, I got it, I got it, I got it. Because niggas forget Marbury was really a problem. My, yeah. Yeah. Listen, you talk, you're talking to yeah. somebody. Marbury was really a problem. If he, if, if we'd have had like the um, uh, the mental health awareness shit going yeah. on back then, and he could have had a psychiatrist and all that type of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think my baby would have did something. Or if a nigga like KG would have talked him out of leaving Minnesota, you mm. know what I'm saying? Them nigga, he could have been strong early. Yeah. But like, yeah, like short niggas, Marbury was one of them ones, bro. So I'm thinking about like this, right? Like we're in this era, we're in this era of of. It's a guard league now, right? Like guys like Mar. I always if, think about guys like Marbury, Iverson, Isaiah Thomas. Like, the league, what would they be doing guys, now? If those guys was to play in this league, uh, you got all type of averages of forty. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You you got you got because because it's the coaches letting them niggas do their thing instead of trying to make them be point guards. Mm-hmm. Like niggas like Rashad Phillips would have made it to the league if the league was what it was now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rashad Phillips is probably the toughest short guard to come out of Michigan, Detroit, mm-hmm. and didn't make it just because he little. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You pull up any Rashad Phillips highlights, n- nobody could guard that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So like the league, like what it is now is is, is four scoring guards versus back then they wanted you to be uh, setting up the offense. And, and, and passing, you know what I'm saying, and just hit the open mid range. Yeah, like, yeah. that's what they a, want to point guard. It was a big man now, game. Want Coaches all. wanted to have they imprints all over the game and stuff, so they wanted to draw up their little players. I understand that. I get that. Like but, every team in the league right now, Dan Rick got elite point guard except the Pistons and the Knicks. <laughs> we got Frank Nilakina, <laughs> bro. Y'all got Nat Chap or shit? Who? Y'all got Frank? <laughs> y'all got fucking RJ? Yeah, fucking Dennis Smith no, Jr. I fuck with RJ name, Barrett. No, name I fuck with RJ Barrett. Name the three pitches point guards right now. You uh, playing? Yo, y'all had time out, time out. Y'all had D Rose, and D Rose is hooping for y'all. D Rose is hooping. D Rose was a hooping. D Rose was a hooping. What? I seen it. I what? seen him. He came to New York first. I can jump higher than D Rose right now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you talking about? But he, he wasn't good for eighteen easy. a game. That's not D Rose. He wasn't good for eighteen a game. Off the bench? That's not D Rose, bro. That's Derek. All right, so he's just Derek that's now. Derek. <laughs> that's Derek. That's Mr. That's Rose. That ain't Derek. that ain't D Rose. That's Mr. Rose right there. That's Derek. He went back. To like we got, we I got because it's D Rose's birthday too. We got. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw it on Slam. We got Sir Blake Griffin. We got the, we got the calm Blake Griffin. Like we got the nigga who understand that if he keep dunking, he ain't gonna play no longer. Nobody give a fuck, bro. Go duck. You know what I'm saying? He want to shoot threes, show niggas that he got patience with his game. You know what I'm saying? He a leader. Nobody care about none of that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you are the type of nigga that has to get a couple layups to get your jumper going. You feel me? He had like one game last year where he hit like five threes or something. Yeah. But he shoot like 10 threes a game every yeah. day. Yeah. I mean, he ain't trying like, to get hurt, bro. Get you can got, you can see it in his face. He don't want to be there. The Pistons, the Pistons are notorious for that. We had we had a haircut at Iverson. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. We had a uh, regrowth, regrowth of the Braves out of Iverson. We had, yeah, Iverson, like they had no, no hang hair. time, obviously. Yeah, they showed no hang time. It was like first year in the We had Nick Braves, Ivo. We had uh, one thigh T Mac. God damn it. Uh, we had uh, all I got left is a sad shot of uh, McDice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, and then we get McDice when he ain't no good for real. Like, we could have got McDice the year we won the championship. We go get him the next year. Like, he about to come and be that strong for us. Like, come on, bro. So you say Melo's your favorite player of all time, and the chip that you got. That's just because I like Melo. I I hear that, and I love Melo too. But I know you still got the chip that year, but could you imagine that Billups team with Melo on there, rookie year, instead of Darko Milicic? Does that does that still sting feel, a little I bit? Like, I feel like with Melo on the team. We still get the ring, right? Yeah. But we not like an underdog in the finals. Right, right. Like, 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 I, I think that, like played into, team, that played a lot into it. On the team, they can see that coming. Like, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we still have been able to get Tayshaun. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That could have been a dynasty right there. Can you imagine? Listen, I'm talking about three, four rings. I'd have been so happy. That could have been and a I dynasty. I could argue about Melo all day, and now I can't because you bring You bring young Melo in with, with – fully evolved Chauncey Billups to, to to mentor him and be like, all right, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to be on no crazy shit. Like, we're going to 
teach you, bring you into a winning environment right after winning a college championship. Like his whole career change, the whole the whole Detroit franchise changes if Melo's in mm-hmm. Detroit off off the rip. You know, what I mean, he's just coming off winning a national championship as a freshman. He goes right into Detroit, wins a championship in the league as the young buck. You know, what I mean, and as they grow, you know, what I'm saying, like you still got Billups, Hamilton, Sheed Wallace, Tyshawn Prince, Ben Wallace, like. That's a that's a that changes the entire league if that happens. But you got dark. See, look, let me tell you, I like I like talking basketball. I mean, I like talking sports with you two niggas. Reason being, everybody in life don't understand sports and the parameters to go around. And I'm gonna give you an example. One of my security guards tried to tell me that fucking Lamar Odom was Darcy and Tayshawn Prince. Almost fought the. Nigga. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yo, and right, love to, love to Lamar and Odom too. Bro, love to Lamar Odom. Yo, yo, bro, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not even yo. It's not how like how passionate he speaks about it. It's how just how so involved he is after the comment. It's like, <laughs> like y'all niggas, like really? That's what's selling it for me, bro. But Lamar yeah. Odom better than Tayshawn Prince, though. They're just two different players. Huh? Lamar Odom better than Tayshawn Prince. They're just two Duh. different players. Duh. Yeah, yeah. Odom, uh, Odom's yeah. the type of them, them highlights, them highlights, the mixtapes is two different mixtapes. Oh my God, bro! You, you know what I'm saying? saying? That's Hello, a, that's bro. another play that was here a little too early. Under the dunk song, you feel me? Left hand three, pull up, oh. chair. Yeah, he was a six seven, fuck six eight point guard. Six, oh, he's six. Tayshawn he's all of six ten. I've seen Lamar Odom. He is all of six ten. Like he's a big dude, you know what I mean? Like I he's Tayshaun another dude that I was like, man, just a, just, you know what just a, a couple remember, years too early. Forgetting that chase down block on Reggie Miller, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which, to just being honest, I thought it was a goal to him. I mean, can we? If we're being honest, let's be all the way honest. People all talk about. You ever talk to Reggie Miller? He's like, yeah, man, I should have dunked that. Reggie, you ain't dunking shit, bro. Like, I've seen you play for 15 years. I've like, seen you yeah, like, twice. You can watch all uncontested. Of he probably got like five career dunks. <laughs> <laughs> like five. And I think yo, all of them was like within his first couple years. I go back. I ain't going front, yo. I know this that was a, a special year for you as a Detroit fan, but I go back and watch that game. I watch like the score. It was like. 67 to 68 or some shit listen, like that listen, in the so fourth the quarter. Day, I'm like, ugh. No, nah, that's, that's just keeping it. That's just keeping it a buck. The <laughs> other day, I just told niggas. I said, "Hey man, listen, I'm from Detroit, but I'm a realist. No fucking body was in the league when we went to the Eastern Conference <laughs> five years in a row. Okay, and I'm cool with that. And I'm the you know what I'm saying. You just gotta be real, bro. It, it, it wasn't going on. Like it you was... go back and look at them guys. The fucking end of scoring used to be like ninety two to eighty five and shit. Like come on, bro. And that man, that shit used to be slow as hell. And no, wasn't shit going on. Why, I mean, like, let's let's keep it all the way a rack. Uh, like, like, like every like, single Larry thing Hughes had to fall right. Shooting guard at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas like that. Fucking Larry Hughes, fucking uh, Brian Grant was just like averaging like 15, 16 points and shit. Like, come on, nigga. Like, no, nah, the league was terrible, and I'm cool with us going all those times because I had moved to Washington, D.C. my eighth grade year. Mm. So just me to be able to talk shit that they fucking basketball team was nowhere near nothing. Nowhere, yeah. was good for me to, when I was in Washington, you know what I'm right. saying? Hey, they used to call me Detroit. I was like, you got damn right. Where the Wizards at? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kwame Brown, Jordan, Jay Stackhouse. Yeah, y'all terrible. Fucking the the I'm uh, the, I'm, the, I'm 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 watching play. um I'm watching my Giants also just turn the ball over with 50 seconds Listen, seconds left. The play that defines the Wizards as huh? a franchise uh-huh. is uh Michael Ruffin throwing that bitch in the air and Mo P hitting the half court left hand three. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. I remember Mo that. He threw it in the air to like try and waste the clock. And he said, That's what I'm trying to tell you. Mo P caught that motherfucker. Listen, that nigga from Flint, we all was turnt when he hit that shot. Do you hear me? Yeah. Now, I know, now, I know you know a lot of dudes in the league, and I know you hoop for real. Like, you're not one of yeah. them dudes that's just like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, I play, like, I no, see the highlights. I'm like, you nice did. I was real nice in high school. I think I'm still nice now, though. I'm about to try to get back in shape. No, I see you. I see. You. <laughs> I, and listen, I don't. I don't throw. I don't throw out hoop compliments lightly. Like I've seen the work. I'm like, okay, nah, but he, I, oh, he and, for real. And definitely. that's great. And and, and you know, just me finding out. I mean, obviously, I knew about your music. I didn't know you was a hooper. But there's a lot of artists right now that claim they can hoop. You know, you got a Cole, you got a Quavo, a you got a Drake. And it, I know a few of them. There's ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you like niggas Dirk up? Can, no, look, Dirk Yo can hoop. Look, Dirk can hoop for real. Him and yeah, yeah, I, know, I seen Dirk can hoop. Yeah, they really, him and came by really play ball. You know what I'm saying? Um, I see A Herbo Boogie. A Boogie got a little game to him, too. 
Really? Uh, yeah, I said A Boogie got a okay, little game to him too. Right, I see. I see him. I never seen A Boogie. I seen. I seen a little. I seen, uh, I seen a couple I seen, clips. I seen. Uh, what's his name? Um. Um. Mo Bamadou. What's his name? Oh, Shaq West. Shaq West. Shaq West is all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shaq, Shaq can hoop. Shaq mm. can hoop. Um, the other little cat from uh, New York, TJ Porter. Not little TJ. TJ yeah. Porter. Yeah. No, no, TJ, yeah. TJ, yeah. TJ Porter, Porter like, was no, on the gauchos. Like, nice. He was for real. TJ Porter, nice. Yeah. Um, uh, like he was no guy, more for uh, hoop than he was for uh, uh, East Dave East can, can ball a little bit too. Yeah, Dave East. Dave East went to college. D1. Yeah, yeah. You know East can ball. Goddamn, hold on. Yeah, he went thousand pounds. But goddamn, uh, the guy, the guy from over there, uh, uh, Dax, Dax from over there in Canada. I don't know if y'all familiar with him. He can hoop like a motherfucker. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get all, all the ones that actually can play. J Cole. Yeah, Cole J. can Cole hoop. Can hoop. Um, Yo, they need to bring back Justin, rock and drop, bro. Bieber, Justin Bieber knows what the game of basketball is, and I, I, I was can he I can he can he hoop or is he like is he just fundamentally he sound? Can, he, can, he he can play. He can play, man. You know what I'm saying? He little. But he know how to pass and, and drive and kick, and I think you can deal with that in five on five pickup. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> saying? Um, Lil Dicky can hoop. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, Lil Dicky nice. Lil Dicky nice, nice, nice yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now let's get to the niggas who I would torture. <laughs> see, now, see, now, see, I was about to ask, I was about to ask you that. I was about to ask that. That I, question was I, coming I right behind you. it. I fully get Quavo the flux. Can't fuck with me. I feel like he's slow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Gucci, you, you terrible, bro. You feel me? I, I can tell, you know what I'm saying, that you, you just hooping with lackluster niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't leave your feet when you shoot your jumper. I throw that shit the next year. Um, There's one more nigga, too. And, oh, yeah, Drake, you ass, buddy. <laughs> my, mama, my mama, buddy, you terrible. You know what I'm saying? We can look at your videos and tell that you Bro, you got to, yo, you got to get this nigga to invite you to the OVO bubble because they listen, did their little hey, OVO Drake, championship. Hold on, hold on, listen, Mr. OVO, were you playing on your OVO court with the OVO uh, 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 scoreboard, the OVO jerseys and all that shit? We can tell that you paid them niggas not to guard you. You suck. <laughs> on my mama. Yo, Wayno said the same listen, shit, bro. I, and Drake got mad at that shit. Wayno said the exact same shit. When I go hoop, I'm, at, I'm at real open gyms, bro. I be having to play the, the, the next team to, to get my run started sometimes. You feel me? Yeah. I, I know if I had enough money to pay niggas not to guard me, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I had if I had enough cheese to pay niggas not to guard me, I wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? But that that's I tell this all the time, bro. I go to real open gym and like the niggas I take with me, a lot of my cousins, homeboys, and play D1, Globe Trotters, overseas. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I done had real NBA niggas in my run. Sir Dominic Pointer went to middle school with me, played for the Cavs. Derek Nix, you feel me? Went to Michigan State, went to play for the Pistons for a little second. He been my run. I done scored on both of them niggas you feel me so no, i see i see you put man. up i see the youtube video where you put up 65 points it, the, okay so look let me explain that video please, it, please we, we, was, that. we was we was set we were shorthanded both teams you uh -huh. feel me? so it's four it's four niggas on each team and i'm like god damn it we paid for the gym the cameraman here we gotta run you feel yeah. me this is what it is and shit man all the uh, six man crapping me man 65 that's a real i let i don't let them niggas lay that down to this day <laughs> See any nigga who's on defense, I'll talk to you. Yeah, 65. 65. Is that is that is that your career high? Like what's what's your career, career high? Points. What's your career? Is that is that it? 65? Yeah, 65. That's my that but for my league that I got, P League, 65 points. That's the most I ever scored. Jeez. But like um like when when we had the full league going, I averaged 30 in two of the seasons. And then this last the last season we just started, Corona killed it. Damn. Would you ever would you ever go out to Drew League in in, 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 in LA? That's that's a goal of mine. Okay. That's well, you a goal of mine. Right 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 I'm saying like, like Drew League, League would be like it sounds like that's something like right up your alley. <laughs> I mean if the no, games you get out it's, there, it's, game, it's, game play it's like jail ball. It's on my list because I got um like before all this crazy shit was going on, like Chris Brickley wanted to work me out. Um Rico Hines had invited me to the runs, like Earl Watson was gonna personally walk me into the runs with Rico Hines. Mm. Goddamn um and the Drew Leagues has always been in my conscience. Like, that's one of the things I want to do once I get all the way right. You know what I'm saying? So, nice. yeah, man. Uh, Nick got hoop dreams. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Not just basketball. All right. So, I got I got two, two, uh, two magic wands, bro. Like, one magic wand says, yo, we get you a roster spot on the Detroit Pistons. You starting. And the other one is you got, you know what I mean, your next album goes double Triple platinum, Gram Grammy award, Grammy winning. award with not, yeah, Grammy award, top top album of the year, NBA. For, oh, they oh they scrapping. Hold up, Let's get it. Oh shit, my bad. Nah, we lost, yeah, we lost. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yo, one one hand, Grammy award. Other hand, 
NBA championship. Guaranteed roster spot, Detroit okay, yeah. Pistons, starting shooting guard. Which one you pick? I'm going to the Pistons. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I got to. I got to fill it. The, the hoop, the, the hoop <laughs> dreams supersede the rap dreams. What? Listen, to this day, my biggest accomplishment is ESPN posting me dunking. <laughs> that's it. Like the billboard shit, all that shit, cool. That's, yeah, all right. But ESPN put me on their actual Instagram dunking in my Pistons gear was the highlight of my life. Oh, my oh, God. Shit. I, I got to pull a few strings, man. We got to get you. When they when they bring back the celebrity game for All-Star Friday no, listen, night. They, listen, if they snub me this year, you're going to see the biggest rant from a rapper about a celebrity <laughs> game ever. <laughs> Ever, ever. Bro, I want to. I want to. They snub me this year. I'm gonna be pissed. I have to get on ESPN this year. I want to ask you a question before we let you go because we know you got studio time tonight. And you, you yeah, said, you know, you got the the song out right now, and you cool with it. It's two years old. You straight, like you, you, you good. You not even think about the album. Does the album? Does that song success dictate the direction of your album? You know what? That's a good one because. I, I knew what I wanted my album to sound like. Well, okay, I, I knew what I wanted to feel like. I knew right. what I wanted my album to feel like. And <clears throat> like the bands love four or five times I went out of town to go record it. Um, watch out, little nigga. This is my guy's son, man. He over here turned. What up? Um, <laughs> I got them, um, like the last four or five times I did it, I've I've only like came away with like two, two or three songs I liked out of like fifteen to sixteen. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like as of recently, with all the whole lot of chopping shit going on, as of recently, I've been thinking like, damn, should I make more songs like that? You know what I'm saying? Like right. should like should my first album be like some shit turn like that because of how strong that is, or should I keep on just showing my range like I like to do? So. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to figure that part out. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is just like putting a couple songs that would be in that direction on the, on the album, mm -hmm. but still just showing my range and do other shit too, because I don't, I don't like to be put in the box. And because it's like, like, I don't it's like to be like, yeah, he goes over there with the energy rappers. Like, no, nah, cause the energy rappers really ass. They don't say shit. Like <laughs> I got, I got a lot more lyrics than a lot of niggas. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my, my basketball references is number one in the game right now. Like, That's what I'm saying. Nobody, if I, were you, I would, I would take that advice. I would, I mean, I'm not no A&R or nothing like that, but like you already got the audience. They right. already listening. You know what I mean? So like, you got something to say, you say it to them. Don't chase, and it, and, and if it comes, it comes, bro. Just like this right. record, it'll come naturally, bro. Like, value, say what you got to say. You know what I mean? You got a lot of history. You got a lot of things to talk about, and, like, you already have the audience. They're already paying attention. So, definitely, when right. you're putting that album out, man, if I was you, man, yo, it'll hit the right people. You know what I mean? You're from okay. Detroit. You're from Michigan. Like, that is the home of spitters. Like, that is the home of people with shit to say. So, mm -hmm. I feel you on that, man. Does, 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 does the political narrative hit, your, hit your, your, your notepad? Not at all? Okay. Not even a little bit. <laughs> all right. We, we end that right there. It's, it's, it's already leave hard right, out leave there. Leave it right there. Leave that right there. <laughs> my, they, don't, they don't want me to get into politics shit because, like, <laughs> all my rational, the, the east side hood, just black nigga thinking – is is not it it would be so frowned upon and just you know what I'm saying and I don't even know the rules on what not to say when it started getting to that type of shit so I just stay away from it. You know what I'm but, saying? But wouldn't it like, be my opinion be fucked up on a lot of shit. But wouldn't so it be just just, like, just, just, just from that perspective alone, wouldn't it be something that would be, you know, smiled at that the fact that you're using your platform, your voice, because you just said I don't know the rules, I, say, I don't know the The furthest the furthest the farthest I would go into or damn near near the ballpark of politics is me speaking on racial injustice. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like, I recorded a song a couple weeks ago um, called Mixed Signals, and I actually was, I actually, Dan and Bro died crying in the booth. You know what I'm saying? Because I was thinking about the police killing everybody, all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So as as I was trying to get the lyrics out, you know what I'm saying, I started crying because it was like, damn, I'm trying to think about these people when they did or Jacob Blake in the hospital prayer last yeah. and shit, you know what I'm saying? And that, and that shit fucks with me. So like, that's like the farthest I would go is like speaking on that because that could be me or my cousin right. or my brother or my sister or my godson. You know what I'm saying? It could be, it could be anybody. So yeah, that's no, about the farthest I, I go into it. Man, I, I, like, I, mean, I just like the fact that you have that mindset that you, you attempted it 
and it, it just seems like it does hit home. And you probably don't want to say the wrong thing or you want to articulate it in your way yeah. where people can respect it. So I, I do respect the fact that you're attempting to do that because there's a lot of artists with huge platforms that aren't touching those subjects, that aren't touching those issues in fear of looking yeah, that, that as if they don't me, know what That bothered me about. too because I feel like if I can make a post, which I did, you know what I'm saying? Like I made a, a couple posts, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the motherfuckers who way bigger than a lot of everybody should be saying shit and they not. Right. And I feel like that's white people telling them to yeah, stay away from that and do 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 and not to mess up this endorsement and that endorsement and like nigga fuck the endorsement, bro. Right. Like nigga, anybody we think about the endorsement, they shoot your bitch ass, nigga. But they because they don't know who you is, Mister Rapper, sir. You feel me? <laughs> like nigga, I, I just that that type of shit be hurting me. You know what I'm no, saying? I so that. I respect yeah, that. Yeah, I, I try to I try to make sure I'm not in that boat. They can't say I'm a nigga who don't give a fuck about us because I for sure care about us. Well, I'll tell you this, man. If there's anything we can say about Sada Baby is that he's genuine as fuck. He, he, he is who he is. So you keep that energy, man, and I guarantee you're going to be around for a long, long time. Yeah, man, we got to do this in person, man. I got to sit this shit up. Bro, you oh, got to come to the city, Next bro. time you in New York and New Jersey, man, pull up. Pull come up. To the we city. here, brother. Uh, I'm about to have my publicist set it up with the quickness because we got to get down to this LeBron shit and all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're always welcome to the lines then, man. Pull up, man. Sada, baby. No bullshit. Thank Y'all you. gonna see me soon, so whoever listen to this podcast, we gonna do it in person real soon, and I'm gonna make sure I wear a fucking Pistons jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold you I'm to it, and I'm gonna I'm I'm wear, 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 wear the LeBron jersey. Pistons. I'm going to wear the yes, Cleveland Blue wear, Brown jersey from that 48-point okay, game. And I'm going to wear my Michigan State game-worn Miles Bridges jersey. Oh, my bad. My bad. I forgot that's your man's. All right. <laughs> I'm going to wear, yeah, I'm, I'm wear a Giants jersey just to be included. Hey, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the other shit I got, look. I'm about to show y'all, and then I'm about to get yeah, out Yeah, let me, let me, see, let me see the memorabilia. <laughs> Give us the tour real quick. I'm about to show y'all the coldest shit I got, and then I'm, I got to go. All right, bet. Let me see that. Let's see, man, where the shoe at? The shoe right there. All right, so look, you see these Kobe's? Yeah. Okay. Oh, those they hard. got DeMar DeRozan signature. Right he sent this to me. Ooh. And he oh, sent me these Kobe's before Kobe died. Oh, Damn. my God. That's just hard. Yeah, that was, yeah you got so, like, to put those put those in the case, if, bro. If I would have asked after he got I wouldn't have got them shoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to put those in the case, yeah, you got to put those in the case, bro. Please. please. Look, hold on. I got to flip the camera on this thing. Now you go. You go. We see Oh, who's that? That's the Rosen too. The Rosen shit. Yeah. Yep, the Rosen jersey. So what's that, what's y'all relationship, man? I know he's from Compton. He must he must fuck with you heavy though. Yeah, that's my dog, man. We um we kick it probably like um at least twice twice a month. Like mm. that's really one of my homeboys though, man. Like he makes sure I get tickets when he come play the Pistons, and we kick it about other shit. Like I'm probably one of the only niggas who heard his music. You feel me? Because yeah. you know, he can't. Oh, he make music. <laughs> Yeah, he rapped. The more his, 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 I did his though. I know Vince Staples <laughs> mentioned it like in passing one time, and like I thought I was hearing things. Nah, he I, I know he really rapped. He fuck around, but he just you know he don't he don't release none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But like that's that's really the homie though, man. We kick it uh, about more than just rap basketball. Make sure I'm straight. I make sure his family straight. All that type of shit. That's my homie. I got a, I got a lot of reports with a lot of different basketball players, but like a couple of them is like really the homies, like Demar. Uh, Damian Lillard, uh, yeah. Terry Rozier, uh, mm-hmm. Miles Bridges, really little bro, like that. That's my nigga. Like Miles Bridges is signed to me musically. Oh shit! Yeah, no yeah. shit. Okay. Not yeah, that. Miles is big squad. He signed to me. He's the first. He's the first artist that I had that's uh, in the sports world. And I almost had Le'Veon Bell, but like me and Le'Veon, we still we just kicking it. We cool. You feel I me? Fuck with I that's my guy. We did, music a, shit too. we did a Pepsi commercial last year together. That's my guy, man. I love Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, he, he a real he a real good dude. His thing, I've been running from him because he been trying to give me he was trying to give me to uh, do football workouts and I'm like fuck you. <laughs> no, nah, like we in Miami. He's like, get up, come get this work. I'm like, nope, no thanks. Nah. <laughs> this is no joke. God nah, damn, I, I ain't ready for that, man. I got to get in shape before I even attempt to to try to do some football workouts. But yeah, man, I, I cool with a lot of basketball niggas, man. So well, shit, what, what can we hear some music from Miles Bridges though? When you dropping that? What'd you say? When can we hear some music from Miles Bridges? Uh, soon. He got a song with my uh, with with the uh, with Skiller Baby. That's like my main artist just signed with me. He got a song with him, and then me and Miles got some shit under wraps too. You feel me? But like, we got to do like I'm. I'm just making sure the video that I shoot with him don't get him in trouble. All that type of shit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if you go, you go on YouTube. He got a video up where we all was in this video down in Miami on the yacht. That's where I signed him. At. I signed him on the yacht in Miami. 
Oh well, shit. Nice. Yeah, man. Well, shout out. You, gotta, yeah, you gotta drop some exclusives over you here, bro. See it, man, we just you know we gotta keep his image right. You feel me? I don't want. Nah, that makes sense, dude. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. I know exactly. Yeah, I know sure exactly where you at with it. <laughs> yeah, man. Like the furthest we can go is like some prime time money, money, money type shit. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get him a gold yeah, dookie chain with the prime time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that's a that's a goat video though. By the way, must be the money. You know what I'm saying? Prime time is one of my favorite niggas ever like, of all time reasons I watch football. can nobody say nothing bad to me about primetime bro i don't care what i don't care what he does i'm like yo he that is my guy yeah, primetime is that the nigga. Goat hair bro <laughs> the goat and I, I just pray his son is anything close to him he could just be a third of his daddy and a I'll little be bit just a little bit he'll get a look though he'll get a look off the name <laughs> it's the just nfl a third of him. it's just a nepotism third of his league daddy and that'd be cool all right look before i leave y'all think lebron go get brownie a whooping <laughs> he be, if, he, if he did know, no, no, what you call uh, it? This. The mother, the, I know the mother done dug in that nigga ass. I know the mother done already dug in that nigga ass. Like, what is you thinking about, bro? Like, what was you thinking? Mm? Like, what was you? <laughs> your pops in the NBA final, or like, like the, the the Eastern Conference Finals, and here you you blowing did, down. Did look, did you got a little bitty ass blunt? <laughs> Like, you a millionaire, bro. Come on, bro. Look, this big, bro, in width and length. Like, you on all bro, bullshit, bro. I feel bro. like, yo, I feel like Braun been playing, like, in <laughs> stealth mode ever since he saw his son smoking weed on social media. I'm going to beat this nigga ass home. when I get home. He trying to get home. Hey, look, you see you see the meme? They say, uh... Uh, uh, Bronny is uh, just uh, two wins away from the ass whooping of a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> he two wins away, goddammit. Sada, we got yo. Right, Sada, 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 Sada. Thank you so much for coming through the show, brother. Oh, man, I, I ain't messing up my bag. Nah, I go sure, ahead, sure, bro. Sure, sure. Appreciate man, you coming love, through. Man. I'll see y'all soon, man. Yes, my sir. Name is Sada, baby. Next we time appreciate you, brother. Pull up, brother. All right, brother. Be safe. All Be right, safe. Man. man, that was funny. That was great. This nigga is crazy. This nigga <laughs> Bronny too. fucking wins away from the Ooh. ass whipping on his life. Man, I ain't touching that we ain't one. Never, yeah, we ain't really With a 10 about... foot pole, yeah, I ain't touching that we good, one. We good. <laughs> but, we good. God we damn, good. man. All right. Woo. Bro, I Shout love out, Sada, baby. I love when the Next. guests come through and like we don't even talk about what we're supposed to talk about. Like that whole loose. NBA, we just like we go. Just that loose. nigga hilarious, bro. He is hilarious. Yo, that nigga make sure, I mean, God, unless you're living under a rock, man. He Make sure you go baby. stream a whole lot of choppers. Yeah, yeah. Spotify, iTunes. Shout out to Gab. TikTok. Shout out to uh shout out to Wayno. Shout out Wayno. Yeah, shout, shout out Olu. Yeah, shout, shout out to everybody over at Asylum. Man. You know what I mean? And uh yeah, man, that was, yeah, that was so funny, funny bro. Funny shit, bro. Okay, so yeah. So anyway, back to Trump. Uh <laughs> <laughs> back to that fuck nigga. <laughs> no, back to this fuck nigga, right? Here. <laughs> hey, all right, what do you want to do? Like, I, I mean, listen. Hey. Uh uh. Hey. I feel like this is the only show we can kind of talk about it, right? So, like, okay, let me talk about it now. All right, so, like, not saying we want it to happen. You can't, yo, yo, you can't, you can't no? start it off like that. <laughs> you can't, no, like, you can't. I'm usually the one to be right, like, so, okay, yo, so here's you know my what? Thing. You here's can't my thing. Start it here's off my like thing. That, it's the deadliest pandemic since the Spanish flu. As podcasters, as members of the media, we have to entertain all oh, boy. circumstances, all possibilities. Okay. If, what are you What are you trying to say right now? All I'm saying is, like, just yo, tread lightly, please. <laughs> just tread lightly, my nigga. Like, usually I'm the one that has to like you have to reel me back in, but I don't. The way you're setting this up, it's it's not the uh, it's not gonna go the way I think it is. But just be just be careful, brother. Please be All careful. I'm saying, okay, let me let me just frame this the right way. Oh, Jesus Christ. 2020 has been a year we'll never forget, we right? Know. It's been okay. a crazy year. Yes, crazy we year. We, uh, we know that. It's an election year. We know that. Pandemic. We know that. Racial injustice. We know Social that. Social injustice. We know that. Celebrities dying. Icons, heroes. Chadwick Boseman. Okay, we yeah. Kobe Bryant. I'm, 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 on, I'm on the page with you right now. Okay. Careful, just careful, please. Like Wouldn't... where you're walking right now <laughs> is thin ice. Where you're walking right now, like the ice is cracking. All I'm saying is whoever is writing the script to 2020, whoever is writing the the manuscript. It's either Tyler Perry 
It's either uh, Jordan Peele <laughs> or Martin Scorsese. All I'm saying is if something happened to him. Trump, yeah, then I mean, cast, please. If something happened to him. I like my Apple job, so just be I'm careful. not. I don't want anything to happen to him. Okay, for the if sake so, of our if, democracy, okay, if something he's happens, he's sick with a disease that has killed two hundred thousand people already. It is okay for us to be like, yo, there's a possibility that he can not survive this. There's a possibility. We've all danced along. We've 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 all done that dance, right? We've all done that dance, and that argument. And is, again, I don't want anything to happen to him. I, even as much as I despise this person, as much as I don't like his politics or the way he carries himself or the way he represents our country and right. our people, I think the country as a whole cannot afford something tragic happening to a sitting commander in chief. Period. That's just not good for anybody. But. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, like, yo, yo. He you know was, fuck it. He no, was, yo, no, 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 so here, here's what Cass subject. was doing. Let's go to another subject. Here's what Cass let's was just another, doing. Let's go to another subject. It's fine. Cass was literally two-stepping at the barbecue, right? <laughs> Cass is two-stepping at the barbecue. It's it's cool. No one's really paying attention. Like, oh, okay, you know, Cass, you know, he over there vibing. Cass really wants to Harlem shake this topic. Listen. Cass really wants to go in, and it's like we just cannot do it. I don't That's want, all I'm saying. We just can't do it. I don't want anything to happen to this man. All right? I'm saying is I don't it is what it is. I don't wish death upon anybody. I'll leave it there. What? It is what it is. He doesn't he doesn't deserve a noble death. Huh? He doesn't deserve a noble death in the sense of like he'll be memorialized. But he will be. Oh, he will. No, he will. He will be. be. No, he's a, he's a sitting president. No, 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 no that's he will. my point. It will be like he will that's get my, the, like, because no, of the fact that he is a sitting point. president. That's my point. He deserves to stay alive and see people correct all the bad. That's shit. what I'm saying. Yeah. I think I honestly believe, and I said this before. I, I said Sorry. this before he even got sick. I think a couple episodes ago, I was like, I don't want anything bad to happen to him. I want him to live long enough to see how much he's fucked up and to see the error of his ways. Right, but you know, okay. So here's here's where I have a problem with your beginning statements. Every time you you're about to lean in on Trump, when you say I don't want to see anything bad happen to him, is the equivalent of saying no disrespect when you're about to disrespect <laughs> the, no, the, it's not the hell disrespect. out of somebody. It's not disrespect because we wouldn't be having this conversation if he didn't have a disease that's killed two hundred thousand people already. That was extremely preventable. That we could have probably gotten better in control absolutely, of, absolutely especially correct. when he's absolutely, the one in charge of it, especially correct. when he's openly disregarded absolutely, science yes, yes. openly disregarded easy preventable steps absolutely that correct. every continent in the entire world has taken a part of to help because he's no i'm not gonna go there it goes into my theory All about saying. how white privilege is treated and showcased or showcased in america he has personified what that looks like. Mm. And I'm sorry if people don't agree with me. It's like he thought he was above, you know, you know, legal orders, <sighs> medical orders. Or he could just be dumb. Like it could just like what happened? But it, just goes, dumb. it goes back to the, it goes back to the point of other people having the same kind of idea. I'm above this. This yeah. is not gonna hit me. I have a great immune system. And that's what Trump was ideal idealizing the entire time. Yeah. It's privilege. It's like me. How can I get sick? Mm. It's me. And now like here I'm he is. Most, I'm the most fit person in America. Right. He's like, I'm in fantastic shape. I'm in fantastic shape. I have made my position. The messed like, up bro, thing about it is no, like the way, because we've been lied to so much as the public and like with the press and there's just literally absolutely no way we can believe everything that we're being told. Like we can't. Like there's whole they're sending there's out gaps videos. In these stories. They're sending out like videos like every like six hours on the hour with Trump wearing the same exact thing. Clearly reading a statement that he probably recorded before he got admitted anywhere. With and the then same and, and then in the on. hospital at his office writing on a blank piece on of paper with a piece, fucking with a, sharpie. Uh, with a sharpie. Like it just all looks weird. And like they got the the who who was it that was sitting there like rubbing his head. The Secretary of State. Oh I no, think. that was um, I think I, I believe that was Mark Meadows. I Mark believe Meadows, that was the chief, yeah, chief yeah, of staff. Yeah. Chief of staff. Yeah, chief of chief staff. staff yeah. He was sitting there just like looking like just what have we gotten ourselves into? Yeah, and I'm just like, yo, like 
I know they say he's going to be out by tomorrow and be okay by tomorrow, but that's their idea. They they want to have him discharged by tomorrow. All I know is I've read a lot of things. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Jake. I know a lot of people who have or not experience. No people who have like parents or like elderly friends who mm-hmm. have like had this. Like Anna had it. I think yeah. Anna had had COVID. A couple of our friends had it. Yeah. And you know. There's like the mild, okay, stay home and drink fluids. And isolate yourself. Isolate yourself and all that type of stuff. And then there's the like, oh, you're on a ventilator and we got to pump you full of steroids. And, and this guy is 74 years. Yeah. Doc- no, res- no responsible doctor will put you on a ventilator unless it's like you're Unless you to- need it. Yeah. No, unless you're like, it's that or death. Yeah. Like, that was the there issue was, earlier. They, they, like, it, it just seems like, like they knew that he had it beforehand. They let him expose other people to it at these events. And now the circumstances of his symptoms aren't normal um, recollections of like, oh, you know, okay, you know, he has a call. For, I feel like we've, this, we've, we've dealt these, with this they, disease for what? April, May, June, July, August, September. Feb, no, February. Seven month, February. About eight months. We, so we, everybody knows somebody who's had to deal with this. Like, Eden has had family members who've had to deal with this. Eden has not come into this show without, to take, a, mask. without a mask on, right. without taking extreme precautions because he's around people who are susceptible to this. Right. Everybody, I'm sure you've had people who've dealt with I have. it. Right. I've had people right. who've dealt with it. Jake right. has people who've dealt with it. Like, we know that we've seen people beat it. We've seen people not beat it. Like... I'm telling you, all this, I'm saying this is, goes back to the white privilege all theory. I'm, all I'm, sorry, I'm saying man. is... There is, it is not, we have to entertain a world where like something happens. Like, you know, like it's extremely possible. He's not an NBA player. He's not Cam Newton. Like he's not just like a super healthy 1% athlete that's going to be okay in a couple of weeks. Like we've seen, we haven't seen a single person who was healthy, like succumb to this, like super healthy. Like, I, I famous, like I'm talking about, like of of. I mean, like you know, when the breakout happened in the NBA, in baseball, Major League Baseball, and pro wrestling, like we've seen that healthy people are are they, basically they, they, all they, right. They can get it. Normally, normally, there's been abnormal circumstances where like they have like an underlying condition or something happens and like it complicates things and and something happens. It's not out of off the beaten path to believe that like, and again, I don't want this to happen to him. But like, what happens to the election? What happens to Biden? What happens to the vice presidential debate this week? That styrofoam, that's what that that that, that, that tin foil hat. Tin foil like, hat what, is on. Do Keep we going. do we postpone it? Do we postpone the election? That tin foil like, hat is we, more, that tin foil hat is working what, right now. What happens? All I'm saying is I'm not again. Again, I'm saying I don't I don't want anything to happen to him for the sake of our democracy. For the sake of like we yeah. ran a fucking voting ad at the beginning of this episode. Like I want this dude to survive so we can get I him can out have here trust officially. in our country to do what's right. And vote this motherfucker out. Whatever happens to him afterwards, hey. All I'm saying is this. Let nature take its fucking course. <laughs> all I'm saying is this. I have no sympathy for someone that touches the stove when we told him it was hot. You're right. And you're I'll absolutely right. I'll leave it at that. You're absolutely right. I don't have sympathy I have no for sympathy. Him. When we told you the stove was hot back in February and January, we told you how detrimental this was, and then you told us the stove was hot. And you let people die. And you let people die. So, you touch the stove. You thought you were above it. Now your shit is hot. And what really makes the tinfoil hat Deal get really it. crunchy is <laughs> <laughs> like it was in his best interest, his best interest and his followers' best interest to show that this disease wasn't as bad. So even if he was going out with no masks, even if he was going out and having these rallies and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure he was still getting – the top of top care that not he should have been at us, least that's what I'm saying like that that the 99 percent of us aren't privy to right which makes me wonder the fact that he's getting airlifted to a hospital that week makes me think how good is your care whatever he was getting probably ain't working no more yeah and it's it's it shows how serious the disease actually is yes if it reached him 
and 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 he's going through this kind of like traumatic experience. Yes. This does add on to the fact that this is not just a hoax. This is not just a flu. This is not just something that's going to be miraculously just gone in a couple of weeks. This has gone to show that it's reached the highest person in the free world, and now it's taking a toll on someone who's already over sixty-five, mm-hmm. which the immune system is not, you know, built to deal with. And you got Dr. Fauci. Who's been telling you been telling for six time. months the easiest way to deal with this is yeah. to wear a mask. And he told Dr. Fauci to go kick rocks. Like I said, kiss my ass. We good. He told me to kick rocks. Urgent. So it's just like, man. So when you touch the stove, Did we're you not. Watch SNL this week? Yeah, Joe Biden and. That's Shout out Jim Carrey. He's giving me big fire Marshall Bill vibes. <laughs> Killed it. <laughs> Killed, Killed it. it. I look forward to that every Killed week it. now. Um, and Alec Baldwin does such a great job with Donald Trump. He does Trump, a great Trump. He does, does a great Trump. Kamala, yeah, yeah Kamala. Um, I forgot. Uh, Maya Rudolph. Yes, yeah, Maya, Maya Rudolph. Rudolph. Yeah, 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 that's great, yeah. Kamala. But I mean, you know, it's it's science and karma, bro. Science and karma. You Joe, read what you saw, bro. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Jim Carrey nailed it, bro. He said, "Yo, wouldn't it be nice if science and karma just met <laughs> right now? He teaches all a lesson, and you know what? Maybe in a silver lining sort of way." Finally, now finally, we can take this disease as serious as it's supposed to be taken. Maybe. Even if the idiot in charge gets it and is still like... 200,000 people had to die for us to take this serious, which goes to show how our mental and how we are wired in America. Now, because the one person in charge who can't make a decision to save his life is in Walter Reed pale as a motherfucker and doesn't have the proper breathing tool breathing tools now we're like oh this is real bro yeah. relatives co-workers family members have all been lost between february and october now this man gets it now it's a problem now it's an issue it goes back to my whole white privilege argument i'm sorry like it just it hits when when it hits you cuz her came died <laughs> and no one, no one, no one batted. And the motherfucker eye. is still tweeting from the grave <laughs> about like, hey, from, good from, news, from, guys. From the Tulsa, from the Tulsa rally. Ugh. I'm cool. America just seems like a parody of itself right now. I'm cool. It's like, Jake, you look like you, you, you've been dying to say something. I'm cool, bro. I'm cool. You're good. It's just, oh, well, you got some news. You got any? No, no, no. no, no. I'm, just, I'm straight, bro. Just tired of this shit. I just think you should be wary of what information could benefit, like what people. Like yeah. if they're putting it out, like if Trump's putting it out himself. I remember I texted, I texted in the group chat saying like, I can't believe this got out. Then I saw he tweeted it. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Shams. I thought Shams broke it. <laughs> was at first. I was like, damn, Wolves got to hang it up. <laughs> you got inside sources at the White House. It's a wrap. It's a wrap for you. Uh, but whoa. all Trump does is like distract. Like, yes. he'll, like when it's like Colin Kaepernick with the flag, he'll distract me. Or not with the flag, but when I don't he's got no taking remorse. I, don't, I don't got no remorse for this thing. I'm sorry. I don't distract. Have no I'm just saying if you rise no above and kind of look at him critically, forget his distractions, like, forget his, you know, I don't have no go, remorse. Like, I'm cool. Channel vision on what's next for you. Because, yeah. like, I don't think. I, I mean, you got to remember the kind of week he had, too. You know what I mean? Right, right, exactly, well, you know, that sounds exactly. like a personal problem. I'm sorry. No, I mean, like you got to remember problem. the kind of week he had to yeah. where he would want us to be talking about this yeah. instead of the fact that he I mean, paid $750 like, in taxes. Sounds like a personal for you, problem. For you. No, it's not a personal problem. That it's means all, that shit had to be us. true, right? Huh? That means all that shit was probably true. Yeah, he was of course. Like, I'm talking about him contracting the disease. It sounds like a personal problem. Yeah. Man, but not do with us. I'm healthy as shit. I'm cool. All I'm saying is, don't forget that this motherfucker paid seven hundred fifty dollars in taxes. Don't forget that when he was asked in front of the nation to denounce white supremacy, he didn't do it, and he said the Proud Boys to stand by and stand back. Don't forget that he told us that. Uh, don't forget all the bullshit that this motherfucker has said this week. Just this week. Just this week. Like who, this is what who do he you does. want me to name? Don't Did forget. Like man, listen, all right, listen, man. He, uh, man. A lot of shit going on, man. It's weird. All I'm saying is make sure you register to vote and make sure you register for a gun, too. <laughs> Sydney told me the same shit. She was dead like, ass. we need a gun. I'm like, I'm dead ass about to go register for a gun. <laughs> I mean, just. So the Proud Boys are out here acting unruly. There's too many, too many. I didn't and see and too they're many. hidden. They're hidden. 
Listen, I live in a very white neighborhood. I live in a not so melanated part of New Jersey. And there's not a lot of POCs over there. I go jogging, I see blue lives matter flags on some people's houses. Mm-hmm. Right? I've seen Trump flags on boats down in Edgewater. Like, I know where I'm at. And I know on November 3rd, I'm not saying all people are going to act the fool, but I'm almost counting on some people to act the fucking fool. So, what I'm saying is, protect yourselves. Protect yourselves. I got a family to protect. <laughs> I got a family to protect. I got, a, I got, I got loved ones to protect. Mm-hmm. And we gotta stop acting like proud boys could like fight. <laughs> like, oh no, we got hands. Like we gotta stop acting like it's, all these. Like all think about it. it. You know, have you met these people? Like have you ever met a proud boy? But this is what I'm saying to you. They're hidden. They're here. Nah, they're not even that hidden. No, Go they are. They're, 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 no, they're, 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 uh, they're among us. When's the last time you've been on Facebook? <laughs> Do you, I, went, you went to high school. And, wait, you went to. Well, you went. Why would I go on Facebook? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes you got to go. I mean, you Oh, know, no, I don't know. I don't, it's t- good, it's no, good to I, know, I, don't, no, I don't touch Facebook. Facebook's a great no, tool to No, I do not touch uh, Facebook. I can, I can walk outside. Instagram, right? I can walk in Cliffside, or I can be in Williamsburg, or I can be in LES. I'm like, saying I know the part, what those the, proud the boys part of like. you broke up, you, you, you were raised in. Oh, when I go down there, I see my dad, and I isolate myself, me and him, and like, I don't drive around like, nah, Sometimes cool. you got to you gotta peek in the Facebook just to see. You'll see one. You will absolutely see somebody I'm not trying to be triggered is what I'm saying. Either people you grow up with. I've seen people that like we've partied with that are like down, like super duper like Trump supporters. And now me and you are best friends and we're going to keep it that way and not be around them. No. Well, to, that person doesn't live around us. But like this person I'm speaking of in particular Uh-oh. is like a proud, proud boy. Like she's a proud girl. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Right, like, well, I'll be looking at the tweet. I'm like. All right, well, just let me know who it is, is so I can. Ass? Let not, me know I'm who it gonna, is, so I gotta follow her. I'm not gonna. No, nah, we're not now. Nah, here, no, no, like, no. I'll see the tweets. I'm like, no, nah, no. Nah, let is me know who it is. Let me know who it is, so we can follow her. Like you're not even white. Nah, <laughs> we're not doing that. Yeah, like nah, like it's it's. You will be surprised. You will be really surprised what. And and all I'm saying is, we can always disagree on politics and all that type of stuff. But like, you can't, like, you can't. Knowing that racism. And bigotry is not a, it's it's not it's not a it's not a, what's the word? It's not uh, the end all be all for you. Like if somebody says, yeah, he's racist, but we can't be cool. It's not a deal breaker. It's not a deal breaker for you. It's not a deal breaker for you. And granted, when the motherfucker said, you know, what do you want me to say about like you know white supremacy or whatever, I wasn't surprised. I was like, of course he's not gonna this this. He's not gonna say no to his base. Yeah. He's not gonna. He's not gonna. He's not gonna, he's not gonna turn down that support. No. No. Of course not. Didn't surprise that, me one what bit. What do you want me to say? I'm like, okay, that that sounds normal. Didn't for surprise me one bit. I'm just like, all right, I get that. I see that. I knew that was happening. But my thing is this: like, there's people who, for them, that was the first time I was like, they were like, wow, maybe he really is racist. When we all knew. Maybe we all knew. Like the we've other been side known. knew what it was. Bro. We've been known, but for some people who have played dumb as long as they could have, and we're still like, oh, proud boys. There's black people in the proud boys. There's women in proud. What do you mean? What are you talking about? What? What? Like, are you really trying to? Like, I, I, I mean, I guess to your point, we all, we we are all you need- really trying to like synthesize this shit? So, to your point, we do. We yeah, we need guns. I'm just saying. Guns. We need guns. I'm just saying, man. I don't I don't know how to make my mind up in regards to the rhetoric and the narrative of what's going on. I don't know how to digest it. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how to should I push my anger to one direction? Should I try to understand the other side? I don't know. Sometimes I'm just very, very confused. No, I mean, you know what it is? And and it it brings back to our point of our friend that we know that is like a super duper Trump supporter. I won't unfollow them. Cause I gotta see how you think. Right. I right. gotta know, like, I gotta what, know where your mind. I gotta is know at. where your mind. I gotta know, like, how you came to that conclusion. Like, right. I know, like, bro, you, you have like partied with people. Like, you have like thrown concerts for people that look like me and you, and like you openly support this guy. You openly support this man's policies. Like, I don't even hate you for it. I just want to know how your mind. I gotta gets know there. where I can like. Cause get it makes. In. It makes sense for 
it makes sense for like somebody born in suburbia or born in, in, in rural Michigan, a rural like Midwest towns who have never seen or been around brown folks. Like it makes sense. I get that. But it's like, bro, like you like are of the culture. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like you, like, you know me. He knows you. She knows you. Like, I know the people you around, and, like, you're not even hiding it. Like, you out there with it. So I'm just like, how you, how, how does that happen? I'm genuinely concerned. I'm genuinely, like, you, I genuinely want to know, like, how you, you get to that you point. When you evaluate I, people's tax bracket, when you evaluate people's surroundings, when you evaluate people's upbringings, a lot of those things don't come into consideration when it comes to us. So like their normal their normalcy is what they're gonna keep, especially in this kind of time right yeah. now. So yeah, they may be friends with me and you and you know, whomever, but they're gonna just keep their normalcy. You know what I mean? So it's like I can't be I don't I again I don't know who you're talking about. So I mean we'll talk about it off air. But their normalcy is the 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 the, the main thing they're gonna keep. Mm-hmm. Like if they gotta lose friendships, they probably gonna lose friendships. Yeah. And, and 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 that's okay. Yeah. And that's and that's totally fine. So yeah. If, like I grew up in Staten Island, bro, and they threw a Trump rally in Staten Island, telling him to get better. And I understand that. Like I understand why that would happen in Staten Island. Staten uh-huh. Island is a borough I've lived in since I was five years old up until I was about nineteen, and that is a borough full of firefighters, police officers, teachers. Those t- it's it's a red state in the middle of mad blue boroughs. So I understand why that would happen. And you would understand why I rarely go back to that <laughs> unless it's going to visit my mom or visit my, my family or whatnot. But I get it. Like, I understand why, you know what I mean, that would be a Trump-ass borough. My thing is I can't, I can't, I can't unfollow. I can't, I'll watch Fox News. I'll watch I'll watch how the other uh, how the other side thing. I'm not even saying the other side. I want to watch how like other sides think. I like to I like to hear all arguments. Right. I don't feel like I'm I don't you know, if I had to say I would belong to any one party, I'd say I was independent. Right? Because like Chris Rock said, there's some shit I feel conservative about. There's some shit I feel liberal about. Like prostitution, I'm liberal. Like crime, I'm conservative. <laughs> Like, and that's how I've always been. I've learned a lot of life shit from Chris Rock. So I'm glad he was the guy who kicked off Saturday Night Live this week. But I feel like I, I got to try and understand where you're coming from. But, like, to, to when, when the stakes are this high, like, I really got to know your thought process because it makes me question my thought process. It's like, goddamn, like, how did I get this close to this person? How did I know this person? And like, I really got to know who the fuck this person is. I'll show you when we get off. All right. But it, it, it's just, it's just. It's just really strange to me. It's really strange. That- I mean, like we're now we're we're starting to see what's going on. We're starting to see people's true colors. We're starting yeah. to. Be, we're, and again, this is America. I get it. No, you can no, think how no one's you want. wrong in their yeah, perspective. Yeah, yeah. It it may not align with yeah. It, may, it won't align with our. Listen, hold And again, yo, hold when back. I see this person, like I'm yo, sure I'll see them. Yo, do your thing. I'm like, listen, I get that. Like we may not be, you know, what I mean, see eye to eye on but, political shit. I'm not on. I'm not on that page with you. Word, like, this is America. You can believe what you want to believe, think how you want to think, as long as your shit don't infringe on the, my shit. I think shit. 2020. Cool. I think 2020 has really thought has has really taught us to draw the line in the sand. And I think that's mentally. I think that's just personally. I think that's you know, work shit. And not, I'm not even talking about just you know political things. I think the 2020 has says, okay, this is where you lie at. You either on this side or you on that side, and I think to this conversation, what you're saying, okay, now I know where you are. Cool. Mm-hmm. Stay over there. Stay over here. Mm-hmm. When we're not talking about politics, when we're not talking about none of that stuff, yeah, we can cook it, get a drink, whatever, whatever. Right. But when it comes to those conversations, right, stay over there, and that's fine. Gotcha. Don't intrude. But, but that's why there's the silent majority. Exactly. That's what. That's mm-hmm. what. Like, if you're not ready to have the conversation, and you shame someone, either way for how they feel like I know it goes both ways. It's like team sports, mm-hmm. um, but even more vicious. But like, yeah. if you shame someone, like you're never gonna be able to like meet in the middle. Like, yeah. I, I yeah. don't wanna say don't vote, but like in an idealistic world, like a more powerful, like 
protest against vote like against the flawed system would be like shaking hands with a Republican or someone who was going to vote against you and agreeing not to vote so yeah. they would fix like the election. I mean it's for the greater good. It's for the greater good. Like you got to yeah. be able to meet somebody on the other line as long as, but, like I said, as long as your shit don't infringe on my shit. That's it, bro. Keep that shit over there. We I'm can cool. we can disagree. We can disagree. We like, can yo, bro, get along. Perfect example. Fine. And I don't want to like draw this out too much, but perfect example. You know, um, Yankee at uh, Sour. Okay. OD Trump supporter. Okay, I can see that. But that's like that's my guy. Okay. Like we'll we'll go back. We'll have a discourse about it. And we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. And I'll be like, oh, this is how I feel. And then he'll be like, oh, well, this is how I feel. And then be like, all right, cool. Mm -hmm. And that'll be that. Yeah. But it won't be a continuous conversation. It was like, well, you know Trump. And this is like, nah, bro, like you said what you said. And mm -hmm. I said what I said. And we just keep it at that. Mm -hmm. If I can have a discourse with you about that, then I'm fine. Like, I, it doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect my livelihood. This is how you think. And this is how I think. Mm -hmm. Well, I can go back to smoking hookah with you and getting a drink and, and that be that. But you're not going to drill that shit to me. Yeah. You're not going to. Drop your liquor, uh, your phone. <laughs> no, I'm just like, you're not going to continue to drill that information into my head knowing how I feel. Right. And as long as you can respect that, then I'm totally fine with whatever your perspective is. I and hear I'll that, like man. That. I feel like we talked a lot of politics. I don't think we've ever talked this many politics. No, I, I told you we leaned in. It was a, a politics, ass, uh, politics ass week. I, I mean, mean I feel give like it what happened. To... Yeah, of course. Well, anyway, game three is about to start, so I think we should wrap things up. We should wrap things up. Wrap things up. Wrap oh. things. <laughs> And the wrap things up, sir. Where's the other broom? Where's the other? Was there only one broom? Mm, toss that over here, pal. There we go. Ah, there we go. All right, all right. So we got any? So this is uh, this is it. I guess this is the end of the episode. We got any uh, predictions for tonight, buddy? Clearly, um, mm -hmm. we already are making our predictions mm -hmm. right here. I guarantee. Guarantee. <laughs> Man, no bomb out of bio. No Goran Dragic. Now let me tell you something. Talk to him. This clip. Is either gonna go super viral because we were really wrong, <laughs> or we're really or right? We're really right. <laughs> and oh, we've been—I think our percentage has been pretty good. Percentage has been pretty high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty high. But we've seen the Lakers. We've seen Braun on a mission. Ad's on a mission. Uh -huh. He's looking like Finals MVP. Baby goat over there to me. He's looking like Finals MVP. He's looking like the and, next. And Braun want to get home to whip little Bronny's ass. <laughs> <laughs> we can, we can, so, we can attest to that. <laughs> like, this might break this off on this. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Um, we about so, to go. So sweet, sweet sweepers. It's looking like a sweep to sweepers, me. Sweepers. All right. I Cheers. thought I said I said. I said gentlemen sweep in the beginning of the series series. Wow, we just crossed swords there. I thought we were gonna say gentlemen sweep in the beginning of the series. But it's <laughs> But uh I have no reason Hey, let's uh, let's just end the episode right now, please. I have no reason to believe this won't be a uh this won't be a uh, a sweeping ten. Oh, so. I had a joke, man. Ooh, I had a joke, but Listen, uh, this is uh, Kaz, Say Less with Kaz and Low Key. Yes. Uh, crosses, crosses the source. Uh, <laughs> say uh, Less with Kaz and Low Key uh, right here at the Lions Den in Cliffside Park, New Jersey. Yeah. Um, take it away, brother. You know Yes, sir. To. As always, man, uh, shout out to our bro uh, brother Vic, man. Still praise. And, um, you know, best wishes to him and his family, everything he's going through right now. Vic, we love you. Um, you know, we're here for you. And, uh, you know, your whole family, thank you for opening your doors to us each and every week over here. We got so much love for you, brother. Um, so we'll, we'll end it like we end it every week, man. Uh, stay safe. Stay free. Oh, whoa, 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 my bad. My bad, my bad. Oh, the voter joint, right? No, I'm just saying, you know, make sure you subscribe. To no, no, say yeah, less with Cass. <laughs> leave a comment. Uh, leave a rating. For, uh, five star us, please. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend and subscribe. Shout hey. out to the Discord. I see y'all. Shout out to all the Discords that that, that we, we get talked about in. Uh, <laughs> shout out to um, everybody lined up on the on the YouTube.com slash Kazim. Um, make sure you subscribe there. We climbing, we climbing, we climbing. I love seeing the comments. Mm -hmm. Good, bad, or indifferent. It's all good to me. I love the feedback, and we're going to keep improving every single week. Yeah. Shout out to Sada Baby coming out from Detroit. Yeah. For coming through. He was a great, great guest. We're going to keep getting great guests for you. We're going to have fun each and every week, no matter what the hell happens in this crazy world. We will be here to talk about it. So last thing I'm going to say is stay free. Stay safe and always say less. And what do we say to our commander in chief? And wear your fucking mask. Please. Uh.